Hello folks, welcome to a commentary track. We haven't done one of these in a while. Unfortunately, the film we're doing is The Lost World, but also unfortunately, the uh, copy we have is on VHS and we don't have a remote, so we can't sync it up with a countdown like we usually do. Mm. Instead, we'll be sticking the damn thing on and playing the logo sounds nice and loudly so you can sync it up that way. We could have like bought a DVD version of it, but that would mean owning another copy of The Lost yeah. World. Yeah, which is... Luke had to borrow a videotape of it from Gemma's eight-year-old son. The only so. people who would like it. This is gonna be fun. Remember, warning: it's copyrighted. Don't. Alright folks, hopefully you are able to uh, sync that up. Sorry we couldn't do it in a slightly more modern way like we usually do. But like I say, we only have this one on VHS. So this is the second Jurassic Park film. It's, it could only go up from here. Yeah, I mean the first one was such a great film. So of course they're going to carry like build all, like, all the good things from that. Yeah, there was so much potential for world building after the first movie. So obviously this is sarcasm. This film is fucking garbage. Uh, but, it's, but on the bright side, it's the least garbage. Yeah, this is probably the best of the Jurassic Park sequels. It's not a dumpster is. fire. It's just a small like burning bin. Yeah. Yeah, it's filled with dog shit. I used to, I used to really like this when I was a kid. Like, you were not a smart kid. Yeah, but to I tried. Fair, I when wanted it to came walk. Out, I was four. I wanted to walk out of this movie. This is one. I was eight years old when I went to see this at the cinema, and I wanted to. I was fucking eight, and I wanted to walk out. I'll tell you the, the point where it was was um, during the part that actually now as an adult it's probably the only part of the film I really like, which is the uh, the Tyrannosaurus rampage through through San Diego. That was the part. I think it's San Diego. Um, that was the part. Were there where people on the streets yeah, jacking it? Jacket. I sh that's what made. That's what tipped me off that it was San Diego. That's the only two things I know what San Diego is for. And I wanted, Comic Con and people jacking it in the street. I wanted to leave. Hey, it's Ethan Rain. No, it's oh. Richie McRich. See, these people are bad, and they deserve bad things to happen because to they them. have money. Because they have money. Also, Steven Spielberg will tell you. Like, <laughs> poor I underpaid. I fucking hate that in movies. Like. This is what this is going to date this video straight away because I'm going to mention the Last Jedi, which in two years nobody will fucking care about. But they don't um, care about it now. That's one of the things that really pissed me off about that movie. This multi-million dollar Disney movie. Rich people are bad. <laughs> it's like, yeah, thanks. Well, like, you mean like those self? Thanks, Kathleen uh, Kennedy. Those self-awareness. You mean like the people who made the fucking Lorax? <laughs> Poli polluting is bad. Now spread these pamphlets around. See the like, <laughs> Lorax. No, fuck the Lorax, man. What a terrible movie. For advertising, we're going to pour, but you know, make a giant, like, you know, picture of the Lorax in oil in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Which all, all of this has positively fuck all to do with the Lost World. Because only. Uh, Maybe if the Lorax showed up, it would make the film better. Just getting the Lorax being savaged. Literally less than less than three minutes into the movie, and, and we're we've trying already to run it. out of things to say about the Lost World Jurassic Park. Yeah. So this actually happens in the first book, mm -hmm. this scene, um, because the first two movies are uh, sort of a mishmash of the yeah, yeah of, the, of the first two books. There were only two books, which considering there's five movies is impressive. Yeah. But yeah, they basically they run out of literary sources after this one and fuck me. They can't it, think of anything interesting really, to do with dinosaurs, does, can they? Does it really show? Um, like, as I have issues with this film, but it's it does have fairly soon the greatest cinematic cut of all time which I'm hoping people get a kick out of drop uh, the food little girl drop the food and run it's been a long time since we did our Jurassic Park commentary and I'll be honest I don't really remember anything we discussed but I think we, we came away from it with Jurassic Park's a bloody good film it's not yeah, without it's just it. sucking its dick yeah, the yeah it's, it's a film that's not without fault but it's fault to so minor who even gives a shit Obviously that, one, the that one extra between. with the beard just looks kind of chuffed to be there. He's like, I'm in fucking Jurassic Park. Little does he know how bad <laughs> the series actually is. It's like is, the guy who did the motion capture for oh, Jar Jar. Do you remember comes. that? And throw the arms up in the air. Come on. Just like in real life. I like to think she's actually just screaming at Jeff Goldblum there. Like it's like a really surreal like Lynchian moment where time and space kind of like... You know, yeah, and she's not. There's, there's just a port, like she's like not freaked out like a child because she's just seeing a portal to like a subway. Yeah, to where and just freaking her out. You know what really has always bothered me about this scene is the guy that he start, starts speaking to, like on 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 on. You're the quite train. far away from the mic, uh, the missus. Are you able to either move your chair closer or speak up? Can do. Yes. Um, this guy. 
I thought he was going to become a main character, and I was like, what, I wanted him to die immediately. Well, wait, surely that's a relief that he doesn't become a main character then. Yeah, <laughs> I'm saying like every single like the first time I saw this, I was like, so you wanted them to actually go through with Chekhov's gun. So like, see, we have this annoying guy in the first act, and then he never appears again. Yeah. It's one of those weird things where it's like we have to try and set up through dialogue because I guess Steven Spielberg forgot how to tell a story visually between films. Mm-hmm. Um, we have to set up through dialogue that apparently oh, Dr. Malcolm's all washed up now and nobody believed him about the island full of dinosaurs you could literally go to. Look, you have fucking proof. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's sort of like... Um, so there are, uh, it's there's an island of dinosaurs. I don't believe you. Surely a rich person could just fly over there and take yeah. a look. See, see I know this. it's restricted. They, I know that they establish in these films that it is restricted mm. airspace. But yeah, but you could clone one. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah, so you have the technology. The man that's in every film ever. Mm-hmm. Hello, I'm very butler. That's, that's saying- the level of the of the fucking humour already, guys. Was we're running out of things to say. It's like, hello, I'm very butler. <laughs> now, in Matt's defence, he was in a coma until fairly recently. But, but also, I'm still funnier than Toby. That's probably caused some brain damage. But um, you're saying about uh, the had to re-establish the thing. That just reminds me of um, Ghostbusters 2, oh, which God. I like. I love but apart from the first 15 yeah, to 20 minutes of Ghostbusters, fuck the first act of Ghostbusters 2. Like, oh, like we need like, oh well, you know, like, I, like you save the fucking um, what was it city from a bunch of ghosts and a giant marshmallow man? But oh no, we have to work at children's birthday parties now. What the? Yeah. It's the same bullshit in all these kind of sequels. And look, here's Jeff Gordon, like, oh, hugging, embracing these kids. He's just done that. You guys aren't out of sync, by yeah. the way. Um, but he's, he's hugging and embracing the kids a minute ago. So, oh, here it is. Those kids who had that really heartwarming uh, arc with Sam Neill, who's not in the film. And you kids are just, who are actually likeable and not going to be in the film. And instead, I'm going to spend it with a bunch of unlikable douchebags. Yeah. And some little girl who can do Jim Carter. Yeah, the whole little girl thing doesn't, it's just ridiculous. Well, we'll again, we'll make fun of that when it comes up, mm. but... You know what I preferred? Some random fat kid who just I showed this up. Fucking guy with the glasses as well. Like, why? <laughs> that guy I, know with I know there's two guys with glasses on the screen. I just realised it's VHS quality. It's pretty low res. Um, the one guy looked like he was smiling earlier. The extra, he may well not have been. It's probably somebody watching us on Blu-ray at home. Like, what the fuck are He's you guys frowning. talking about? What's the guy's you? literally crying in fear. <laughs> you know. Um, he's like out acting everyone else in the scene. Uh, <laughs> oh no, it's in the script. It's like guy who can see like ten seconds to the future. <laughs> it's an enormous, enormous backstory for this one extra, yeah. and he can actually see that Jeff Goldblum is going to rip a hole in time and space. <laughs> but yeah, this guy with the, the glasses here, right? Like this is my biggest problem with the Jurassic Park uh, sequels in particular. Not so much with the first one, though it does do it a little. But why, in God's name, do we need human villains? Is, there's no one else noticed the great big fuck off dinosaurs that go around <laughs> that, eating w- people. That will naturally want to eat. It's like, oh, that looks tiny and edible. Yeah. Like, like we good don't thing need... it doesn't have any sort of like vehicles or guns. I don't know what those are, but I can probably still eat I mean, it. I know the characters in um, in the first film aren't exactly complex, but the... <laughs> this guy's like Skeletor. Look at him. He <laughs> looks evil. Yeah, like, he, he I would like if I would fire him on principle. <laughs> The thing is, is like his evil counterpart in uh, in Jurassic uh, in, in Jurassic. Wait World. a moment. Listen to this dialogue. I, I could. I would, yeah, it's too quiet. Here. All right, but, but that was more for people at home. But the line he says there, I'm pretty sure is, the, is 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 this this line he just said, which is, "Be careful. This suit cost more than your education." Who speaks like that? <laughs> Apparently, rich evil guys. I would just splat. <laughs> it's like. Just yeah, like, this suit costs more than your education. Guess I'll get eaten by a T Rex. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh really? And just like, yeah, like because in the, fir- on in it the or first film, you have like you have the lawyer who's kind of like greedy and yeah. cowardly. Yeah. Like, it's not even that bad. Like he's a, like he's a, he's a lawyer. Like lawyer jokes. Ha ha ha. He got he got he got eaten by a dinosaur while on the toilet because he's a lawyer and this yeah. is the nineties. Yeah. But What's up with airplane food? I'm gonna be a bee in the future. This is, <laughs> but it, you know the. The fi- I don't know. I feel like the first one gets away with it a lot more because the characters are generally likable, and even the lawyer who's kind of slimy is somewhat amusing. Mm. And even though you know he, he dies in the comedic way, you know it, 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 don't know it never bothered me. I don't know what it is whether it's just a bias for me, but you hate lawyers. Those, those issues in the first film never mm. really stuck out to me, but in this one, 
I can't get over all the little nitpicks. If you if you're a fan of this movie, I probably I recommend you probably wouldn't shouldn't listen to this the rest of this commentary because we are going to be nitpicking it a lot because I have a lot of things I really don't like about this film and most of them don't matter. <laughs> but god, they just get under my skin. Yeah. Well, I I brought this up with you um a while ago. It's like um it's like the little like little inconsistencies and nitpicky things. Like if it, this film was good, you wouldn't care. No. It's like, I'll say, like, episode of The Simpsons and Futurama, where it's like, oh, these characters should know each other. Like, these, like, just like, there's no little can at the can and stuff like that. But, you know, the episode of The Simpsons you're watching is good, so you don't care that these characters yeah. don't recognise each other, even though they've been living in the same town for ten years. <laughs> the example used was, like, Chief Wiggum. Yeah, Chief Wiggum, all, like, Homer, Skinner, like, and who, stuff like, who might you be? I'm like, you guys were literally in an a cappella group together <laughs> that got famous. <laughs> like... <laughs> you know, yeah, like, like, oh, uh, I got to meet with Principal Skinner, and it's like, like, oh yeah, oh yeah, old Skinner. I'd have known yeah. him for years. Like, okay, right. But you, you don't, you don't care because yeah. it's good. But I think yeah, uh, the problem with this film is each of its little problems on their own wouldn't matter, but it's it's the amalgamation of all of them. Mm. It's this great big kind of maelstrom of terrible decisions. I don't think this film is shot particularly well. Again, we are watching it in low res, but like these just shots are very boring. It's very just kind of like. Shot reverse. Nothing really looks quite right. The sort of light coming in through the window behind you. Not in this shot, but the you know the shot that was just on. The light coming in through the window behind Jeff just looks kind of blown out and ugly. I just don't think it's a also nice it, she's shuddering a lot. But that might <laughs> but just again, be the take. Yeah, this shot. I just don't think it's a particularly nicely photographed movie. Which again, for a Steven Spielberg film, I don't know who the DOP was on this, but for a Steven Spielberg film, that's shocking because these films are usually gorgeous, even the ones that aren't like don't have tremendously big budgets. I'm gonna look up the cinematographer just and see. Do you think if we bought the if it actually the first film is gorgeous and um you know even something like Jaws which is like is shot on fairly you know it's like it's, it, some of the prints of it I mean the Blu-ray is very nicely restored but a lot of prints of Jaws are quite bad but it still looks great. Yeah. Do you think if we'd actually bought a DVD of this they'll just like added more hair to people and start doing haircuts? Oh yeah. So I don't know if people know this but there are several versions of the first film available on Blu-ray. Um, the one we have uh, it's actually my mum's but we've borrowed it is the good version. It's from, I'll go and get it so I can tell you which year is the good one, which one's the bad one. Obviously the more recent one's the bad one. So I'll, I can tell you what year the good Blu-ray is from. Now obviously this is in, uh, this is PAL region, so maybe a little different for our NTSC friends, but uh, this particular Blu-ray came out in, where's the year on it? 2012, I think. Yeah, 2012. So the one later than this sucks. So it's got Jacob yeah. was telling me about they literally give people digital haircuts yeah like so there are shots in the first one where like Richard Attenborough has like a strand of hair loose and they just take it away digitally or they you know, and this, you know Jeff Goldman's hair looks a bit wild so they cut it I think they um they, they shaved, sh- they, guy's sh- leg. They shaved um, Robert Peck's legs as well in one of the shots it's completely ridiculous but the, st- the thing that pisses me off the most also they George Lucas it a bit as well so there are th- scenes in the first film where there's like a bit of equipment visible and stuff like that and they Photoshop it out, you know. Well, I, I use Photoshop, you know, they digitally take it out. And the thing that pisses me off is they change the color, the color correction. Yeah, so color everything looks orange. Like everything looks off. They try to make the colors match Jurassic World. I'm like, don't change the good film to match the shit one. Change the shit one. Yeah. You know, that's that's what too much work. Off. But it's that kind of thing where you know, on um, on what's the film called? You Star Wars. I can't remember. I forgot what Star Wars was called. Um, in this, <laughs> that little known. Yeah, that little known franchise. Mm-hmm. Uh, how. In the original Star Wars trilogy, it's very hard to get the unaltered ones. In fact, if you want to see the unaltered ones in high definition, there's a complete load of rigmarole you have to go through in order to do it. Uh, but so you know, George Lucas goes back and changes the originals to match the crap ones. I'm like, no, don't give, don't give Boba Fett a fucking New Zealand accent. What's wrong with you? Like, you don't make, you know, like why is. You know, like Anakin Skywalker, young now. Yeah, it's just, it's like, just stop changing the old films. Why so is there a you know goddamn musical yeah. here? Why don't you write? Why don't you just write the new ones better? Like that's that's what, what pisses me off. And they did that a lot with you know with, with um. Well, George, they took know. they took away um George Lucas. You know, like they took away from George Lucas, mm. and uh, now you've got um Luke Skywalker throwing a lightsaber behind him and sucking on some giant uh yeah, blue cow. That's way better. That's way better. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, anyway, uh, the good the good Jurassic Park Blu-ray to get is the one, it, it's the Universal 100th Anniversary version. Obviously, 100th Anniversary of Universal <laughs> Studios, not of Jurassic Park. Yeah. I'm co- this broadcast is from the future. It's the blue box, it's simply with the logo on it, it says Welcome To as the tagline. That's the good copy. Again, it may be different to the US. The one that has a, little, a much more detailed art on it, where the Jurassic Park logo looks kind of silver, that's fucking garbage and do not purchase it. 
I, um, I just want to explain to the audience, well, the people listening. The eight people listening. Um, yeah. People listening who... The, what are you talking about? This is our most popular series. Shocktober <laughs> proved that. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the director of photography also directed. Um, it was the director of photography for Cool as Ice. <laughs> um, uh, Schindler's List. I uh, see Schindler's List is a gorgeous looking movie. Uh, Jerry Maguire. Um, Saving Private Ryan, AI, Minority Report. So was he just not feeling well when Call of Duty was? Or was he just like working a constraint? Like War of the Worlds. Oh, I that. don't think War of the Worlds is well shot, to be honest. Indiana Jones of the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. That's not well shot either. Funny People, War Horse, Lincoln, and like the yeah. BFG. Obviously, he's a f- I've never actually seen War Horse, but I hear it's a really but, romantic story about okay, a man and a so horse. War Horse, the play. Oh, fuck off. Just the, just, just the presence of Vince Vaughn just lowers the bar so much. It really does. Just look at him. Look at that. Like, I own a flat cap. I'm not going to be able to wear it. I mean, to be honest, it's the summer at the minute. But, you know, if I watch this movie in the winter when it's cold, I have to give myself a month before I can wear it again to wash the yeah. image of, of Vince Vaughn in a fucking flat cap out of my head. Which you remember like a that time when you it? wanted to do a shot-for-shot shot remake of Psycho and then Vince Vaughn did it before you? Yeah, and that just ruined the chances for me. Hey, my daughter, who's definitely not mixed race in any way. No. A fucking bizarre casting. I just, I still love the fact that you know the shitty VHS. It's just making them like shudder. Yeah. Like they got little after images. Yeah, it's probably like knocked us wildly out of sync with people who've got good copies of it. But genuinely, I did not want to spend any money on purchasing a DVD when I had. I already forced I had Jacob to buy After Earth. <laughs> yeah. For set was it seventy five pence? Yeah, which is about for our US friends about a dollar. Yeah. So it's it like, cheaper than a loaf of bread. Yeah. As I say, I still didn't want it. <laughs> he made me buy it. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't bring ashamed. myself to go to the counter. He was afraid that the guy was going to spit on him. <laughs> He's going to be like, just "You told, disgust I, me." I just told them. I, I went up to them and just went, "This is I bought buying after I, I'm buying after Earth for a joke." I have so many problems with this scene as well. Where the, the girls just like, "Oh, you know, why don't you?" See, this is a, this is a, another problem with the writing in this film. I don't necessarily blame Spielberg for this because obviously he didn't write it, but I blame David Kep and um, I think Michael Crichton as well. The issue with the writing in this film, she's like, oh man, you're just, you're just too relaxed. Why don't you punish me a bit? What the fuck kid talks like that? Now, some kids on a subconscious level are rebelling because they're crying out for discipline. That's yeah. a real thing. But they don't vocalise it like that. They don't go, oh, dad, why don't you ground me sometime? No, they just act up. Yeah. That's how kids, like, child psychology is a lot more complicated than, oh man, you should punish me, right, because I want to have a better relationship with you. I haven't seen this film in ages, so I thought it was going to be the other way, where it's, oh, Dad, you spend too much time, you know, working and letting me live in a house. I fucking hate that in films. Oh, God. It's just but basically, like, Hook. You know, like, in the Hook, it's like, oh, Dad, you come... F- fuck Hook, right? Like, everybody, honestly, it is the worst Spielberg movie. I don't give a shit how bad his War of the Worlds movie is. That at least has some, like... Actually, there's nothing I like. You like, you the, like the explosions. Movie. Yeah, stuff blows up, which I guess I could get... Um, from a million better movies but regardless Hook is the fucking worst film no, I always hate that you know the thing is like you know basically like in Hook it's like you know oh dad you didn't come to my fucking baseball tournament yeah. like I'm sorry son I was making sure we have a house to live yeah, in teaching pirates how to play baseball yeah. worst thing ever just <laughs> awful I want to see a film like basically just someone to do a fake trailer because like you know like uh, Tony here spent all his time at work and his kids never got to see him until one day he quit and now he's unemployed and has a drinking heart. Yeah, they yeah, all, I mean. Now they all live together in a single room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's what they call the, Disney, like a, the yeah. Disney dad, isn't yeah. it? It's just awful. I don't get why families always have to be dysfunctional in films as well. I know. It's a minor gripe. A lot of films I love have dysfunctional families. Why are they camouflaging, like, like they're camouflaging the... Um... That'll protect them from dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> they're camouflaging the fucking trucks. <laughs> they won't hear us coming. Also, like, this will save us from a T-Rex, which apparently has, mo- you know, motion vision. We just camouflage it. I don't know, like, explain in the, the book why the T-Rex has motion vision, but in the films it's like, yeah, t- that's it, just, just, it just does. That's just a scientific fact now. There's so many weird things about, like, little... Again, the problems with the first film are so minor it doesn't matter, but, like, with the Velociraptor thing, like, the skeleton they uncover of the raptor at the beginning is, like, six foot tall. It's okay that the ones in, um... Yeah, you know, the, the ones on, in Jurassic Park are six foot tall because they're genetically modified. Yeah. But why is the normal raptor skeleton a fucking giant? And the same is like, oh, maybe his vision's based on movement, like T-Rex. I'm like, that is a really awkward way to crowbar an exposition. But the characters are actually likable. Again, they're not particularly deep, but with this film, they are, they're caricatures. You know, these aren't but even characters. On they're... the bright side, it could be Jurassic Park 3. Well, it will be next. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like, next time we do one of these. 
because you, basically Matt said to me on the phone, oh, should we do commentaries for all the Jurassic Park films? It basically, so we were bitching, basically, we were bitching about... It, it's just so we can get to Fallen Kingdom. Yeah. To be, there's no reason to be doing two, three, and four. Because we missed out on doing this in college with um, X-Men Last Stand. Yeah. Ba- <laughs> literally, literally, I went to college for, was it two years with you? Yeah, two years. Two years. Like, I went to co- college Because we went to community college. Yeah. Pre- oh, it should, it should explain, in, for any Americans listening, college and uni are not the same thing in yeah. England. We, I did college first, then university. I didn't... I, yeah, you don't like, Basically, it's like you, you go, like, not like 18, you know, you can primary leave. school, secondary school, college, then university, yeah. then go on to work. Yeah, it's, it's, it's That's basically yeah. the average sort of, yes, you know, so, so, at college, before before uni, we, we did a two-year course together. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, we'd bitch about a lot of movies. Basi- yeah, but mainly, they, like, we basically became friends over bitching about, what was it, War of the Worlds? War of the Worlds, this. Yeah. And for... But, was it a year straight? Our classes had like a long break, so we'd just like walk around, go to the arcade, have a thing, and then we'd just end up sitting in a park for a while. And basically, it always come down to fucking spiky face. Yeah, it's just the, worst the one thing. thing that, like, there's lots of things to complain about in X Men: Last Stand, which has nothing to do with Jurassic Park, but we're gonna, we're never going to watch that film again. But basically, you know, Magneto's like, I need an army of mutants to disposable pawns. This is totally my character. It's like. Oh, what can you do? Well, I can apparently run fast and detect people's power levels because those two powers just go together. Yeah. And what you could do? Well, I can do this. And it, like, makes spikes come out of his face. And, like, as that's like, this is my power. Look yeah. how tough I am. And, and Magneto didn't laugh at yeah, his fucking like, face. Yeah, McKenna doesn't laugh at him and call like, him a I call can him throw a out bridge at someone. What can you do? I can hug someone and hopefully spikes will come out and hit them somewhere vital. Like, oh, oh well, you could do something that's you know inferior yeah, to someone well, shanking someone with a knife. Yeah, well done, mate. You look like a conker. Congratulations. I was gonna like, say more like a sea urchin without like. It's with fucking legs. embarrassing. And yeah, there's a scene where he's like, um, he stops spiky face from running into the fray, and he's like, in chess, the pawns go first. And this guy who could climb up walls like a well, fucking lizard. There's a guy who like, could regrow arms yeah, rapidly, he's like climbing up and getting shot. I'm like, so he's less value to be, to you than the cactus. Yeah. Like really. <laughs> Oh my god, look at how disinterested Jeff Goldblum is in this scene. He's just counting the money in his head, isn't he? <laughs> For a second, he's like, he's like he's looking around like, yeah, uh, scripts. I, did, I didn't bother remembering my lines, what is it? Sarah! I'm like, really? You, you, this is your girlfriend who's missing on an island full of dinosaurs? Oh, nice. Yeah, just hang your mouth open, mate. That's great. We all want to see that. Yeah. I want to see all your tonsils. Oh, wait, it's and just Vin- like the scene in the yeah. first movie, but shit! Oh, yeah, and Vince Vaughn, please continue chewing with your mouth open. What the scene or just his tongue? <laughs> also, I love how in every one of these Jurassic Park movies you see the herbivores first. Like you, you never start to like, ah, oh, here's the island and a T-Rex. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh like, shit! No, we need to save it for the climax because everyone knows the T-Rex. Yeah, it's, we all know that the um, the carnivores only ever show up when it's narratively relevant. Yeah. Also, like, uh, this is just jumping. Look, for- look, look at Jeff Goldblum here. The way he's talking about this is like. Oh, wow, that's how always how it starts. Like, he, I feel like he should be in the room with us making fun of it. <laughs> like, don't be. If your character can make fun of the situation like that, maybe don't write the situation like that. I don't know. It's poking fun at itself, so you know you can't criticize it. Oh for... god, the amount of creepy pastas we've read on the show where it's just been like, oh, I started thinking this was like a cliche horror story, so write better. Yeah. Oh, it's like. Don't do that. It's like yeah. you wouldn't have seen them. Yeah. yeah. Or heard them yelling like four foot away. Also, something else I want to bitch out. This is uh, this is like a, what was it three films early? You know that scene where um, they go like it's hunting for sport, like yeah, the Indominus Rex, in the and one, there's yeah. all these dinosaurs basically in a line. Yeah, like, that's what that's hunting, herb- isn't it? And like that's <laughs> natural selection when the herbivores don't run the fuck away. <laughs> Yeah. What was it using a silenced rifle? <laughs> I was like dragging them all, like laying them all out for everyone to see. Yeah. He just dragged them. He dragged them into position, and you look above it, and it's just a picture of a dick. Oh, it was just such a saying, "Fuck you." She's like, "Yes, yeah, eat me." Oh God, how are we only twenty minutes into this? <laughs> Jesus Christ! I think it's been on an hour. We've barely talked about it. Yeah, because what's there to talk? There's nothing to talk about. You just got, you know. These characters have absolutely no chemistry together. These two are supposed to be a couple. I don't buy that. People like Joe Johnson complained uh, when he. And oh, by the way, this would have been the immediate re- time I fired him from Jurassic Park Three. He didn't want to see um, Sattler and, uh, and and Grant as a couple because he didn't feel that they had good chemistry. Ridiculous! Uh, what a stupid thing to say. And I would have fired him from the project then. But like, people, oh, I didn't think that the couple in the first movie had good enough chemistry. What about these two? I've like. Honestly, what you know, watching them together, it's like watching two chairs fall in love. It's well, 
Well, you say that. And but... I like these actors. I'm not saying they're bad actors. They're good actors, but. Yeah, Juliette Moore is a good actress, and Jeff Goldblum is. Well, it's kind of like seeing a romance between Wurzel Gamage and a stalk of uh, corn. Yeah. No, I might believe that because at least there's some kind of correlation <laughs> between corn and a scarecrow. Yeah, so I just want to bring up Wurzel Gamage. Yeah, I like the words Wurzel Gamage. <laughs> By the way, do you guys know that the, the, there's like a new Elder Scrolls thing called Elder Scrolls Somerset? And all. <laughs> All the English people are like laughing their asses off in the comments, like and like Bethesda were like, "What's so funny?" And it was like, "Oh, you cider of minor healing." You know? <laughs> like, oh no, it's a new bot. Oh, I've got a brand new combine arm. It's just like, oh. Is that what the new Elder Scrolls? Yeah, it's called Somerset. It's just like, oh my god, like, oh, um, you know, save Somerset. I'm like, yes, they're, they're, there's a massive tractor shortage, everyone. Like, <laughs> I hope there's werewolves in it. Only twenty miles an hour, you urban bastard. <laughs> Stay on the path. Oh, why did the special effects look worse in this one? Like, why do they special effects like, still look worse today? Yeah, uh, what I don't get is, you know, it's a mixture of animatronics and CG, like in the first one. But the first one, there are some, there are certain shots where it's really seamless, and you can't tell. This is clearly a puppet. And the moment that was clearly CGI. There's, there's... I, always, I always find it funny whenever it's like... a good, it's a good animatronic effect. Don't get me wrong, but. It's obvious how they did it, whereas I think in the first film there was, I, guess, I think it's just part of it's just that the, the, the second, first film was shot better, mm. but the special effects, with the exception of one or two digital shots that are that are really dated, the special effects in the first film, they look more realistic, look more photo real, whereas these, it's very Hyper clear, it's very realistic. clear what they've done. Do you know what I mean? It's not so seamless. This film, I don't know. I know what I'm trying to say. Hopefully, someone somewhere understands what I'm on about. But I feel the same because I think the digital shots in this film, I think they got too confident because they were like, fuck it, we made Jurassic Park, we can make photorealistic dinosaurs. The digital shots just look a little bit worse in this one. Mm. Make sure you don't hit with that trank rifle because if it's good enough, you know, it's powerful enough to knock out a dinosaur, it'll kill her instantly. Except uh, unless she then, was, unless unless Star -Lord. She was Chris Pratt. Yeah, yeah. only Star-Lord can stand up because he's half celestial. Oh God, I can't wait to rip into fucking number five. Oh, <laughs> it's yes. just going to be ridiculous. Like this movie, basically, our commentary on this movie is exists. literally. It's like it's like a holding pattern. Yeah. I mentioned, yeah, you know, we joked about the Last Jedi a couple of times earlier. You know how the Last Jedi really only exists as like a middle film. It's it's it's, it's such a nothing film. It's just there to get you from part. And the same is true actually of Jurassic Park Five. It's to get you from from between four to six. It's just to set up a bunch of stuff. That's what this commentary is. It's just to get us it, to the later isn't movies. Isn't trying to be like Jurassic, like literally? It's a literal Jurassic world yeah. where. Like, oh, there's dinosaurs roaming everywhere, and they haven't like been hunted to extinction or died off for you I know, know like, like no natural. It's like, oh man, we've, we've been taken out by like the thirty dinosaurs that escaped from this auction. Anyway, let's save these observations when we actually get onto the. Uh, the it's, but it's the so Jurassic much easier world. to bitch about how it's like yeah. it's like the level no, of because stupidity. This is at least competently made. It's not good. It's certainly not well written. The acting surprisingly bad, considering how good the cast are, aside from Vince Vaughn. Maybe he's sucking up all the talent. Yeah, he's just he's like absorbing it all. <laughs> like the, you know, like in the future, you just know, him, I've they, actually found a way to quantify talent through like you know on visual media. So you look at this and look at his talent; it's so high. And then she's just a blackout sucking. <laughs> so you like put the lay over, and then she's like, "Where's it all going?" It's like it's just, just that's why we need Pete Postlethwaite to be in every scene. Cause he's the only he's the only person like the only actor strong enough to <laughs> to withstand <laughs> the awesome <laughs> sucking power of Vince Vaughn. But look, these actors, they, these actors don't look like they don't want to be here. I mean, I guess they don't want to be on this island. I know she does. But they look like they don't want to be in this movie. They look like they're contractually obligated to be there, which is incredible because it's the sequel to one of the biggest you know, motion pictures of all time. But they read the script. Yeah. It looked like that was gasoline. Burn the island down. So for God's sake, Vince Vaughn, what the fuck is wrong with you? Is she just supposed to have snuck onto the... Um, yeah, I'm just like, right, there's, that would never have happened. Like, no, no one did uh, like, any the, other... the journey from the fucking, you know, United States How, how well can you hold your bladder? Yeah. Like, it's <laughs> okay, okay, clearly, black daughter. That's such a sticking point, isn't it? Again, though, it's one of those things, as as noticeable as it is, that you'd let slide in a better movie. That's what that's what this entire commentary seems to be full of. It's non sequiturs that have absolutely bug all to do with the lost world, and things that would uh, that only irritate you because there's hundreds of them. So like, if everything else in the film was good, you wouldn't give a shit that you know he had a black daughter. You'd find somewhere to no, just. They're saying like we don't think it's bad that he had a black daughter. Is that she doesn't look you know like that was his no, dad? She doesn't look like she's half white. Is the problem? 
Did she, like, is, is, is it like a scene where goes, oh, she's adopted yeah, or something like, like that? Or, but they, some, but, to be fair, there's a lot. Adopted. There's a lot of deleted scenes. Say, there's a lot of deleted scenes in this film. But, so I mean, they're like, very did well. Did you say she's be. supposed to be adopted? No, I was saying like, the, like you'd think that if she was supposed to be adopted, they would have mentioned. Uh, they would have mentioned. Maybe it. she's a clone. Oh Christ! Yeah, we have human cloning in this in this, this series now. as well now. So thank God for part five, right? The best one. And um, the Sticky Moloch. We all love the Sticky Moloch. Fuck, why can't that you... That sounds like a fucking pudding. <laughs> that's a that's not yeah. sticky. Yeah. Sticky mollusk. It's a French pudding. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's basically just a, a, you know... What's that other one? We take the snail, boil it in, uh, how you say, caramel. Worst French accent ever. I, just, I can do I was... a French accent when I'm making fun of my French colleague, but when he's not here... You can't I can't do it. do it. You just. I his, need to. I need to hear his French. Absorb his French and then copy it. Yeah, yeah I can't like do it. Like, like Vince Vaughn absorbs talents. You absorb accents. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like the lame X Men. <laughs> I'm like, well, at least it's better than having a spiky face. Yeah. Like you. We totally should do X Men on our stand. <laughs> we saw it in a for a pound and everything. Pound. Yeah. Oh. I ain't paying for it. Only if it comes on Netflix or something. I'm I not haven't fucking seen X Men: The Last Stand in ten years. You want to keep that going for another ten? Yeah. yeah but were you going to make a point about the whole sticky Moloch thing? Because we just went on this whole <laughs> tangent a, a about the French channels. and then people's lame superpowers. I wasn't going to actually. I just I just brought it up. But then I was also going to say um, when you were saying about the French, like you, like you have this, uh, you eat uh, snails in this country? No. Mm. It's like no. no, we don't actually. You have this also? <laughs> there was this guy who started at my work. He doesn't do it anymore, but he always used to like say really obvious things. He'd be like, uh, fish and chips, you have this also in England? Yes. I'm like, yeah, yeah, we have that in England. Uh, fish non- and chips. Like, fish and chips. Ge- remember that. N- nonchalance, you have this also? <laughs> so, yeah. I was like, uh, in, in, in France, we call this uh, Le Mars Bar. You have this also? So yeah, do you yeah. actually drive up the fucking wall? Uh, I was just like, no. No, please tell me okay. about the... Uh, is it called a royale with cheese by any chance? Yeah, why don't you, why don't you piss off back with your several hundred kilometers back over? We have a tunnel we can go through. Liters of water. God, it's so stupid. <laughs> I just want um, there to be a scene where you know they walk into the van. And go, what smells like human feces in the urine? <laughs> she's been shitting, she's been in, a shitting in a bucket a in the van. <laughs> <laughs> she, you know. Well, this this does I should have smell like so I looked over. I genuinely would love like if I was a, if I was a millionaire, I'd waste my money doing things like bankrolling Matt Dixon movie projects. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, can you imagine? I reckon his Jurassic Park sequel would have like a, a grand total of like twenty seconds of dinosaur screen time. The rest would just be like, shit talk. Uh, like, what I would do is I would um I would you know that movie I would lay out the script. For an action film, and then get Kevin Smith to do it. Yeah, it was, it was Kevin Smith. Like, mate, it'd, just, at, uh, it'd just be Sam Neill and Jeff Goldman talking about how much they like pussy. Like, <laughs> couple of Star Wars directors. Hmm. Did you have chips on in the kitchen? Oh yeah. Do you want to go and pull the burning chips out of the oven, Gemma? Yeah, because I was gonna say like, you put chips on before. The... That was like a half hour ago. No? Yeah. They're probably. Well, that means they're very cooked. cooked. Yeah. Yeah, the, no, the black just makes it better. Mm-hmm. Okay, so finally Pete Postlethwaite shows up and the film is immediately better. He has really good deleted scenes in this film. What amazes me is how many deleted scenes there are in a film that is already way too fucking long. And the stuff they don't delete is the shit with Vince Vaughn and they delete the really cool Pete Postlethwaite stuff. They should have just edited it out of the entire Honestly, film. Honestly, Pete Postlethwaite should be the main character. He's quite a lot more interesting. That's fine. He's quite, they just put a, bit, put a bit of sauce with him. Saucy sauce? Um, just whoever, just put them on the, put them on a the plate. There's not many of them, but whoever wants to dip in. I just remember the thing is like, uh, put some of that jalapeno sauce. Where he's trying him. to put, he's trying to say the name one because fryer tuck. F- f- yeah, fryer. T- <laughs> I just really like him, and honestly, I think this in the the, the Jurassic Park three, they should have gone all out and um, had it in universe with Turok Dinosaur Hunter. Yeah. And had him and Turok have to team up to save uh, the world from the dinosaur, the evil dinosaur. Like so, no, the, no, they go to a resort. It's like aliens. They go to a resort that's been taken over by alien dinosaurs, and from the centre of the earth. Yeah, and Ro- and Roland, yeah, Emric. Yeah, no, Roland Timber. That's not that character. Roland and Turok Dinosaur Hunter have to team up to save all these tourists. That would be a sick film. <laughs> I would love to see a cerebral bore on film. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, oh um, no, it's the da- T-Rex. It's the Indominus Rex. David just- Cronenberg's Jurassic Park. Oh, I just want to play Turok now. 
Oh, it's, 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 yeah, if anyone's going to make a movie, because they, like, they start doing hybrid dinosaurs in the later films, if so, if one director should have been making the like hybrid mutant dinosaur movie, it's David Cronenberg. Yes. Don't mind Jacob, he's eating chips. I'm eating Look at that dinosaur with no reproductive organs. Why orders. is none of this interesting? Like, Nothing that's so, happening. There's a whole bunch of guys go whooping yeah. and hollering as they're driving doom yeah. buggies and motorcycles around. A bunch of dinosaurs. They're planning on hunting them, and it's boring. <laughs> yeah, that's a fucking achievement. Yeah. This is the film Spielberg should have got the Oscar for. It's like and the award for taking the most exciting premise and making it unbelievably dull goes to. Because genuinely, that's that's an achievement. Yes, it is. You know. Okay, so new new um, premise for the film, uh, Jurassic Park Six. What it is. Is it's actually a crossover with the Expendables, where they're hired to take down the dinosaurs, but they're not allowed to use guns, so they have to like wrestle dinosaurs to the ground. It's just Jay- Jason Statham fighting a uh, like Velociraptor. Yeah. Had to, to be honest, what horrifies me is like the multi-million-dollar Sci-Fi Channel movie, The Meg, which has just come out. I haven't seen it. I'm probably not going to bother seeing. I it. I didn't realize that I'm, was a sci-fi. What, no, no. I mean, it's a multi-million-dollar movie, it, but it's it's it looks, the, the standard of a Sci-Fi Channel movie, isn't it? It's about a giant, you know, prehistoric shark. Yeah. I think that's probably going to do prehistoric thrills a lot better than the, the, the last few Jurassic Park movies and that's yeah. just sad I just figured out what all this is for this section mm. it's to sell toys yeah that, I thought, that, I'm pretty sure I saw that toy as a uh, kid yeah. I'm pretty sure I had that toy as a kid I remember I had this one like this like Jurassic Park toy where it was like a um, velociraptor and it had like this weird metal cage thing that you could put it in like on its face Have I talked about on the film before about the um, premise for uh, Jurassic Park um, that Nathan like Nathan found on the internet and yeah. told me? And I don't know if we have talked about it. We might as well talk about right, it. So something to talk years about. Years and years it? ago, my friend Nathan told me, he goes, have you heard about the script for Jurassic Park 3? And he goes, well, I found... I can't remember if he found it or if he heard about it or something like that. But what it was is essentially crime in the future had gotten so bad they had t- used dinosaurs... And cybernetically enhanced them with guns and used them to fight the crime. So it's basically Robocop with dinosaurs. But the guns they had, they pointed lasers that another <laughs> dinosaur would follow the laser <laughs> instead of just I'm shooting. I'm afraid that's what the next one's going to be. It's going to be stupider than the idea of we need dinosaurs to fight crime with guns. I honestly think that um, Jurassic World is less believable than that. Because the idea, oh, we've actually successfully opened the dinosaur theme park without it going tits up. It is not it is in and of itself ridiculous. But then you get to, and people are bored of the dinosaurs. Yeah, because yeah, all the zoos and theme parks in the world have closed yeah, down, I've been they? That <laughs> that, yeah, pe- people aren't bored of looking at African elephants. Yeah. You think they're going to be bored of looking at uh, fucking Tyrannosaurus? Yeah, do, do you remember during, like, a, do you remember the early 2000s when everyone got really bored of the tigers? They had to put them all down. Mm. Now they're extinct. But no one cares because fuck tigers. Do you remember back, you know, oh man, do you remember back in 2008 when everyone was like, fucking pandas, so they just beat them to death? Yeah. Luckily they cro- they crossed a, a panda with, um, I don't a know, beaver. Like, yeah, a beaver. So they built all those panda dams. Fucking yeah. stupid. Look how sad everybody <laughs> looks. It's like, oh man, this is terrible. It's like, yeah, it's Instead really, looking at the movie, yeah, really <laughs> dull. Look how Jeff Goldman's just trying <laughs> to look... Look at Vince Vaughn, like, can you, like... Jeff like, Goldman doesn't even look upset, he just genuinely looks like he's just trying to look handsome for a photograph. Like, he's, like, sticking his lips out and everything, he's, like, pouting. Like, Vince Vaughn's a handsome really... man, but, like, that's not a way to do that scene. You're supposed to look horrified. Did you see Vince Vaughn's resting bitch face? <laughs> no, I instinctively try not to look at Vince Vaughn. He just it looked like he didn't even realise the camera was fucking rolling. I apologise for speaking with my mouth full just then. What, dick? Mouth full of dick, yeah. yeah. Toby's old man's here, but I've got, he's got a ball gag in, so he can't speak. Imagine if you wandered onto this, having never seen Bad Greater yeah. Bastard. Like, Toby, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Well, if, they, if they've done it upside down, they would have probably left ages ago. Yeah, so like, oh, I love The Lost World. I can't yeah. wait to hear these guys talk about it. And we're just like, oh, Jurassic Park sucks. Even though this is the least sucky of them. I can't look at Peter Stormare anymore without that stupid Until Dawn game that we played mm. with the creepy face animations. Yeah, so there's a really weird um, game. It's called Until Dawn. And it's got Mr. Robot in. And it's basically like Saw, but also Life is Strange. So pretty much the worst thing so ever. So it's basically, it's just a David Cage game. Yeah. It is, yeah. And Peter Stormare's in that. Uh, and But he's got like rubbery, um, you know, supervising the Death Star face. 
So he like gets, and it's really great because it's, like I think it's supposed to look realistic as motion capture, but it just doesn't. Mm. So just, yeah, it just puts you to the line of CGI Peter Cushing, and it's just it's really uncomfortable to look at. And Peter Stormare's got a scary face anyway, uh-huh. but like when he's like inches from you, you know, in a, in a first person scene, and it's like the fucking CGI jowls. It's horrible. I was, and I and I loved Peter Stormare. So it's like, come on, don't be frightened of him. You know what I like about this film? It's the fact that they want to take the dinosaurs and then sell them because, hey, look, it's a dinosaur. We can sell it for money. Mm. You know what they're not doing with the dinosaurs? They're not going to try and sell them to the middle. I hate that in everything. Mm. Like, not just, you know, um, Jurassic Park, but even in Aliens, when they're like this. Like, basically, Aliens has two plots. One, there's creepy aliens here and they're going to kill us. And yeah. then Aliens 2, um, they're still going to try and kill us and then one guy wants to weaponize them. And that turns out badly. Mm. So why do they that, that then... Someone can't think of any other plots. So that's literally the plot of every single Aliens game uh, or um, anything else. It's like, let's weaponize these things. Let's not. You know what you can weaponize that won't eat your face? Guns. Mm. You might shoot yourself in the face, but that's not 100%. Where yeah, this weaponizing thing with dinosaurs is like the worst fucking thing. Like, at least with this movie, I'm pretty. I'm, yeah, they're just, they're just opening up another theme park. Yeah. Mm. And probably going to sell off some dinosaurs. I mean, a T Rex might go missing and end up in a, you know, like a Hong Kong market as 500 pieces. Or by the Rome, Siberia. 500 pieces? Where is the auction? The world of Banjo Kazooie? Yeah. What are you talking <laughs> like, about? But I was thinking, I, I meant pieces, I, meant, I basically didn't finish the sentence, but, you know, 500 pieces of, like, um, aphrodisiacs and stuff mm. like that. Like, ground up dinosaur wang, it gives you an erection or something. <laughs> That's what they do, like, do in China. Like, China, like, they hunt pandas, then chop off their dicks, and use an aphrodisiac. I can't think of a less sexual animal. Yeah, I a kind pan- of, like, but, that's the worst animal. That I, I don't think that's true, Matt. I don't think anyone's out there eating panda cock and going, I'm so virile now. If I had to think only of, idiots. If I had to think of something that was completely, like, non-sexual, immediately after picturing you, I'd picture a panda bear. I am a panda bear. You are sim- physically quite similar, um, in spite of all the weight you've lost. I love this idea of like, Vince Vaughn is some kind of eco warrior that's going to like, dismantle this guy's operation. He, I just don't buy it. They just shoot. <laughs> There's a scene missing. Where he just shoots. That's the scene that was missing. Would they call the um, the um, aphrodisiac from the T Rex the T Rexion? I thought you can go T virus. <laughs> T Rexion. I make jokes. I want to talk about um, Resident Evil now. It's this. I mean, to be fair, like InGen is basically Umbrella, but with dinosaurs. And I don't know what it is about this film where the special effects just don't look as good as in the first one, they and don't. that's going to be a recurring theme throughout all of them. They, they're just they're they're more. So, what do you think? Will they like? Does anyone die in this next scene or something? I'm pretty like sure that? countless people get trampled and things. Another thing, another issue I have with this film is there's way too many characters, so I don't give a shit about any of them. I Especially Vince Vaughn. Yeah, I complain that they're, they're all one-dimensional, which is a problem. But also having hundreds of them, it just means instead of building characters and making you care about the situation, they just stick a bunch of dinosaur chow in the movie. It's a B-movie, but with a multi-million dollar budget. Mm-hmm. Which is frustrating, because if you watch the behind-the-scenes of uh, Jurassic Park, the first one, it's Spielberg talking really passionately about the film and saying, one thing I really didn't want to do was make a monster movie. And then he goes and makes this, which is just like a... What you mean when the T Rex is literally stomping around town and eats yeah. a dog, and people go Godzilla? That thing, that line pisses me off. The Godzilla thing, because I get that it's just an Easter egg, but if you do speak Japanese, it fucking throws your mind into this weird place. It takes place in the same universe as the uh... yeah. So like, why does nobody? Why does nobody bring up in the first movie or the first half of this one that there are that, that kaiju are a thing, and that they exclusively smash through Japan? I'm going to bitch about that more during the San Diego scene, I'm sure, because it really annoys me. It shouldn't. Again, wanna... it's just a little stupid Easter egg that I wouldn't complain about in a good film. I also want to, like, you know, once again, like, human lives are not nearly as important as these genetic, like, is it, like I'm pretty sure something like that, that scene just like, ha- like, millions of dollars of damage, yeah. people probably killed, you know, like, there could be people like, you know, there's like, backstory, like, one, like, one guy's like, man, my whole, you know, my kid's future's riding this, I can't afford, like, 
The medicine to treat my young, like, dying daughter relies on me getting this. Also, what dinosaur could have thrown that? It's one of the things I love about that moment. He's like, oh, do you remember when we um, came out of the tree with the car falling on us in the first film? Let's do that again. But this time it's not going to make any sense. Well, it barely makes sense in the first one because suddenly where you know, the, the, the fence was... It's yeah, they just draws a ravine. massive drop. Yeah, again, doesn't matter because the film's good. Wouldn't you just shoot, like, you know, like, um, this guy's just, like, ruined your operation and just cost you yeah. millions of dollars. Even if no one is, if somehow no one's actually hurt or dead, he still just cost you a shitload of money. Mm. And, like, the moment you find these people, oh, no, they, they got mauled by a fucking dinosaur. I shot them in the face and then left them out as live bait. This is the moment where... You should be, I'm rooting for the bad guys. Yeah. I want them to make money and live off happily. I don't care about these people, especially Vince Vaughn. I want him to be, like, eaten if slowly. by some miracle, you had any fucking sympathy for these people, <laughs> that dies when Vince Vaughn carries a, a, a screaming <laughs> baby Tyrannosaurus to their camp. What the <laughs> fuck, dude? Like, <laughs> Do you think Vince Vaughn's a sort of, like, his character's a sort of arsehole who's like, I'm going to go live at the park and goes, I'm going to eat some of this, just drop this here, so spread some toothpaste around, yeah. like... There's plenty of honey and bees. I want to, I'm going to go play with this baby bear. I want to gently suspend my disbelief, not launch it into fucking space. Yeah. Like, I can be I'm happy to believe they've cloned dinosaurs. What I can't believe is any good body could be this fucking stupid. Mm -hmm. And then the film expects me to sympathise with these retards. Once again, I'm for all cap... I'm just for capitalism. These people, like, have just ruined... Like, I like the you know, idea that like, every single man has like a dying wife or daughter who like they need like medical like oh finally we can get that operation to heal my sister Sereni's ass <laughs> so Joey Wheeler needs to duel a T-Rex to win three million dollars I'm writing a better script than... <laughs> I'd watch that everybody watch that, that. <laughs> to be fair in Yu-Gi-Oh uh, like there are some in like the you go GX, there are some really stupid things they do all against, so I wouldn't be surprised if there's a dinosaur. The sequence coming up now is like the best part of the movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the one and where get, Vince Vaughn gets his face eaten. It's still riddled with problems. Uh -huh. It's like, this, I just have such problems with this. I'm like, okay, we started driving here, leave the baby Tyrannosaurus behind. Mm -hmm. What? I get that it's in pain and everything. What? Okay, one, this is nature. Why are you interfering? Like, yeah, we you know we. It's probably create... more distressed. Yeah. Now we than create, it was being. You know, we created these um, theme park creatures, and it's our fault as a species that they're here. Yeah, but that's why we fucked off and left them alone on this mm. island to, to either flourish or die out. Mm. You know, they they they're they're gonna go. It's gonna go one way or the other. What you don't do is go. Oh, there's a screaming fucking tyrannosaurus that's gonna attract other animals. <laughs> probably its parents. <laughs> its bloodthirsty <laughs> predatory <laughs> parents. What should we do? I'll just take it to our camp. Oh, the, Jacob, you're being silly here. It's like a Disney movie. If you're nice to the animal, the animal will be like, you know, it would, it will, you know, know your intentions yeah. and be Gen nice to you and save you later in the film or something. And what, why did, you know, Gillian Moore puts up so little resistance to this idea. She's like, yeah, let's go and perform surgery on the baby T-Rex. Let's not, like, let's not say we did. Honestly, they deserve to die. Like, because you're the sort of, the sort of money hungry uh, douchebag characters. Like you said, I'm rooting for them <laughs> because at least they can make some money. Yes, they can get there. It's like, oh, it's cruel. They're trapping animals. Like, yeah, yeah, it is. But they're fucking dinosaurs. Like I, like, I have they, a really they hard actually time. Don't like don't you know? I have a really hard die time. monster. You don't belong yeah, in this world. I have a really hard time giving a shit about any of it. Again, in a better movie, I could probably feel sympathetic towards the dinosaurs if it was just a more, a more well-made film. But it's not, and it's such a frustrating experience because it isn't laugh out loud bad. Like um, like, it's meh bad. Like Jurassic World. Or, or even Jurassic Park 3 has some laugh out loud bad moments. Although I think Jurassic Park 3 is also quite boring. Um, but it's mercifully short though. But this film is just frustrating to watch. And also I think because it's the first sequel, it has the greatest drop in quality of all of them. So it's this tremendous drop from being a really quite excellent film to just this like cheesy B-movie that goes on too long and you, where you don't like anyone involved. And it's just full of like you know the things you would expect in Hollywood, like oh, of course the bad guys—they they only want money. Yeah. They don't which, want the. Like, which the... coming from Hollywood, it's just so fucking disingenuous. 
It just reminds me of um, what was it? Is it Twister? Where they're like, I bet. who the hell remembers Twister? I just remember Twister for like the storm that just keeps chasing them, and yeah. the fact that there were like, there's the guys who want to study the storm, and there's the bad guys who want to study the storm for money. I don't remember any of this. I think it's Twister. All the perfect like, no, is the perfect. No, the perfect storm's the, the fishing movie. All right, yeah. So I think it's yeah, it's Twister. I'm pretty sure it's Twister where they're like, there's a bad group of people who want to study. Like, it's like it's not like a fish, like unique fish or something like that. We want to carve it apart and study it. Like, no, it's a fucking swirling vortex of wind. This pisses me off as well. He's caught. Like, Jeff Gordon was ringing them. He's like, oh, can you can you do this one? The phone's ringing. You're on an island full of dinosaurs. The most like it's most likely that the person Probably. calling isn't trying to sell you car insurance. <laughs> It was like, oh. I heard you've been in an accident recently. It wasn't an accident. A fucking Tyrannosaurus yeah. shot my car over. It's like, you know, like, you put something like, did it, like, huh? It was like, Vince Vaughn, yeah. Or what is it, Jeff Goldblum? Because I can't remember their fucking names or care to try. Because, like, yeah, yeah, I need to tell you, ask you something really important. Like, what do you mean, ask? Yeah, like, what? Do you remember that scene in, like, Return of the Jedi where there's, like, that fat guy who was crying over the monster? Wasn't that sad? Didn't it make you a bit sad that, that fat guy was all upset? That he's just, like, why are you calling me now? Ah, oh, no reason. I was just a bit bored. Yeah. Standing here with my kid. No, of course it's going to be like, hey, it's a fucking dinosaur. Yeah, we're on a dinosaur island. Oh, I better call the trader to tell them the dinosaurs are coming. And he doesn't answer the phone. Just, oh, God, this movie pisses me off. It could be anything. It could even be a boat. <laughs> Utterly frustrating to watch, and the, I hate the gum thing. It's disgusting. It's like watching people chew gum is grotesque, and I don't get why in films people feel the need to chew gum with their mouths open. It's gonna fall out. Like, why you do that? Again, it's just a little. Also, little, not very hygienic. Me. Like, you, like you, you have like gauze, but you don't have medical tape, so you yeah. have to do it with chewing gum, which a is gonna hold on for very long, and yeah. b is very hygienic. That was sarcasm. Brought to you by sarcasm. Do you think all the deleted scenes are just various ways that Vince Vaughn's been killed? Well, the thing is, he just disappears at the end of the movie. Good. Yeah, he's, he's not he's, needed. He shouldn't be in it at all. I was saying, he doesn't like he doesn't die. He just sort of just 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 doesn't appear in the final in the final act of the film. I'd be so pissed, wouldn't you? Like I had to run all this way to tell you this, and now you've picked up the phone. Yeah. I'd also be pissed at the fact that they brought a dinosaur back to the trailer that's crying for its mother and probably giving off, I don't know, like pheromones or whatever to, like, like help me mummy smells or something. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. How the hell does this dinosaur work? Is it magnets? Probably magnets. Mm -hmm. Don't they basically, like, give it to him and hope it goes away or something? It's so stupid. Yeah. So, okay, so these T-Rex effects are, are good. Yeah. Like, I think the Tyrannosaurus effects look nice. Like, they probably just, you know, they, they, they struck, they, you know, they struck oil with the first movie with the, with the dinosaurs, which of course actually is what happened to dinosaurs. Uh, you know, they, oh, this works. The T-Rex, we've managed to make a really realistic looking phony dinosaur. So now we're going to have two. And again, it's a very sequely thing having two T-Rexes instead of one. Yeah. I don't have a huge objection to it. I liked, I like the idea of this scene. I think it's paced quite nicely. But I, I, it's just so idiotic. You know, if it's so avoidable. Mm -hmm. This I'll, entire sequence is just so avoidable. I was just thinking, if they had made um, Lost, uh, not Lost World, um, Jurassic World, say like fifteen years ago, instead of weaponizing the raptors, they would have wanted to take the raptors and then turn them into oil. Yeah. We want to take the raptors and then put them in the blender and make oil. Uh, that's not actually how we we'll make oil. Oil's a thing at the moment. People really care about oil and, and the prices of it. Yeah. So we need to invade countries. We need to invade I'm, Jurassic the, Park. The oil meme was great. You remember that? Like, yeah. yeah. There's the, there's, anytime you saw the word oil, they just like photoshop a bunch of American troops onto the image. Everything can be bought and sold for the right oil. Just, let's just open the doors. Get on the floor. Yeah, so it's such an appropriate time to make that joke. Like... <laughs> Everybody hand over the dinosaurs. Yeah. Because, like, they will understand that. Yeah. Their brain is wired, like, negotiations. Like, yeah, like these, don't fucking smile! These animals are so stupid that they can't they, they can't even see you when you're holding still. Yeah. But they're going to understand the intricacies of it. And they're going to have a little moment where they nod to the raptor and walk off. Fuck off! 
fucking Jurassic World. At least people hate Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Why do they like Jurassic World? Like, oh, it's okay, you switch your brain off. Moron. People don't say that's a good film. The only way it could have been worse is if the, if the uh, you know, like, they give, it given, it, eh, if it had given a thumbs up. The only reason it doesn't give it a thumbs up is because T-Rex hasn't got fucking thumbs. <laughs> yeah. Like, if they found a way to do it, they would have. I'm sure they just didn't CD in a thumb. Ah, for that I hate. I hate. It, put, that. it slips some sunglasses on and then it calls itself Theodore Rex, starring Whoopi Goldberg. But what I don't get is why the the T Rexes leave and then come back to wreck shit. I'm like, couldn't they have just wrecked shit when they got the baby back? Or like one of them taking the baby but, away, make sure it's okay. Think, and the other one stays and fucking you, eats these perfectly edible people. Mmm, canned food. Do you think um what it was like? Hey John, where's it, Susan? Well. Do you think we should eat them? Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. So, you remember those people that, like, t- kidnapped our child? <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you want to fuck them up? They were probably, Hell yeah. They were presumably going to eat our child, because that's all we know, because we're dinosaurs. Yeah. This conversation is actually, like, um, incredibly impossible, but and it looks maybe a miracle of magic. But... To be fair, they've anthropomorphized the dinosaurs so much by the latest movies that I'm fine with it. Again, I'm slagging off the latest ones. I should be slagging this one off. We're going to have nothing to talk about. <laughs> yeah, again, or just nothing, non-stop talking about it. I heard it when Vince Vaughn said it. Actually, no, I automatically have a... Well, I mean, I automatically have a block when Vince Vaughn speaks, but, you know, presumably Julianne Moore heard Vince Vaughn shout. I like this is the result of doing the right thing. <laughs> No, but how is it the right thing? How is interfering the fucking right thing? These characters are not heroic. Yeah, Vi- like Vince Vaughn has basically sabotaged a bunch of people and probably gotten them killed, mm-hmm. and then drag risked the lives of everyone there because he wants to. Because it, obviously he cares more about dinosaurs than he cares about people. Fuck this guy. So like, all he's, the kind, he's the kind of guy who like, cries when a dog dies in a movie and then like cheers on all the human death. Oh wait, that was totally me when I saw John Wick. Never mind. But the point I'm making is that you know this kind of guy who's like, oh yeah, people are the real savage animals. You know, which ones are the real cannibals? Yeah, the ones who eat people. It's like, it's not the birds I'm worried about. It's mankind that's a savage animal. As birds are pecking people's eyes out. That's that's Vince Vaughn in this movie. He's unbearable. Turns out he's mad. I like this moment with the moving the fingers is making the glass crack even worse. That's nice. That's a very Spielbergian moment. Mm. They should take it and put it in the good film. Yeah. So the, and that's one of the things that's so frustrating about this film is it has the potential to not be horrible. Yeah, it does. You just need to murder Vince Vaughn. Like the first scene is literally a bunch of people beating Vince Vaughn to death with like phone books or something. Because again, this is really well paced and would be suspenseful if I gave a shit about any of these characters and if. Obviously, I didn't already know that their plot armor was going to save them all. Because let's be honest, it's it's a sequel to Jurassic Park. They're not going to kill these guys in this scene. It'd be awesome if they did. Vince Vaughn just, like, just yeah. Vince Vaughn just keeps dying and coming back in every scene like he's Kenny or something. Another thing that annoys me about the sequels, in, this one included, is that the only people who seem to get killed are either like the obvious bad guys who are really evil, or the nice people. That the sort of kind of dickish main characters always survive. But like you like get the this... guys who are either like like dicks who um, you know are, this guy's a dickhead and he's gonna die and this guy's a pussy. So yeah. like, so like it's like, this like... guy this guy is anything but a pussy. Like he's he's the the sort of fat looking guy. He's fairly heroic. Yeah. So once he's again, gonna... it goes back to Team America. You got dicks, yeah. pussies, and assholes. The assholes die, the pussies dies, the dicks live. So this guy's like, yeah, he does leave the girl, but he's obviously gone to save them because he knows something's amiss because they haven't come back. And he's yeah. like, right, I'm the only one left. You can help them. How dare you care about other people? And, you know, and obviously no one's watching this who hasn't seen the film. We know what he gets for his troubles. Now, granted, you could argue that's realistic. That, you know, being a hero doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to survive. Yeah, but if you're going to start realism now... Like... Yeah, exactly. Like, what, then you can't have... You can't have your cake and eat it in this scenario. Obviously, if you've got cake, you want to eat it. I hate that expression. But you get what I mean? You can't, you can't have the Mr. Burns-ass villain at the beginning. Like, hmm, I want the dinosaurs for money. Like, you can't have that guy. You can't have... You can't have a line in this script where you go, uh, this suit costs more than your education. You can't have that and then have some fucking George Martin-esque like, thing about morality. You, you can't do that. No. Okay, either make a stupid B-movie or don't. So what you're saying is he should get killed by White Walkers. Yes. That would really improve this. If this was in the, the um, Game of Thrones <laughs> universe, this would be amazing. But we all know that um, the Game of Thrones universe is just our universe. Yeah. Because the white, you know, because like the wall, Hadrian's wall. Yeah. The White Walkers, the Scots. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> just this image, or just like you know, just us and just white walk. 
He's like, yes, I'm half white walker. Yeah. It's. I think one one of the things that pisses me off is that the 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 this unit of characters here are sort of painted as the heroes, but they're total dickheads. Mm -hmm. Like Jeff Goldblum is literally there to just take his girlfriend away from the army. He doesn't give a fuck about the dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. um, At least he's not going about chaos theory. You know, Vince Vaughn is there to be an eco terrorist. Yeah, he lied to them for his reasoning for being there. It's like his his real reason is to sabotage the the InGen guys. Mm -hmm. You know, the. You know, this guy's anyone with any kind of actual pure like purity in his motivation, and yeah, he gets it. He gets him killed, which you know wouldn't bother me if, and you know there were other characters in the film who are somewhat heroic. And again, why we position these characters like, uh, like you know, like the the Pete Postle the way characters like, oh, he's he's a bit of a dick because he used the he you know, he used the baby T Rex as bait to you know to bait the big T Rex, and like he wants to hunt. He's a hunter. Yeah. It's like hunting is bad. I'm just like, ugh. It's like, yeah, I I wouldn't go hunting. I have certain moral objections to it, but it's a fucking tyrannosaurus. It shouldn't even exist. Yeah. I'm not saying that gives you a right to be unnecessarily cruel or you know, fucking burn these animals alive or anything. But what, I'm a, what a barbecue. I, yeah. But what I am saying is, you know, it, it's just a tyrannosaurus, guys. Get in the in the context of this story, Vince Vaughn's a worse person than Pete Boswell played. Oh, yeah, yeah. And also out of the context of this story, just in general. I'm just rambling at this point because I have nothing to say because I actually quite like this sequence. If only Vince Vaughn died in it. Yeah. Yeah, Vince Vaughn should have died instead of this guy. I don't even know this actor's name and I like him more than <laughs> fucking Vince Vaughn. I don't know his name, but he's been in so many things. Like, he was in um, his big one was he was in TV shows. He's in a lot of TV shows yeah. and stuff. He's in the West Wing. Wouldn't you... It's like sad that Jurassic Park 2 isn't your big thing. Like... This is a yeah. This is a sequel to one of the coolest movies ever made. It should be good. Once again, like you know, you said this guy dies. He's like, Mac like he's like MacGyvering this shit. He should be the hero of the movie, and he dies, which is kind of bold and cool in a way. But again, it just I don't know because he's the only yeah. likable character out of these he guys. Should, like, annoys me. As you said, he should survive and go on to go through the Stargate. Yeah. Yeah, because he's MacGyver, absolutely. Yeah. But as you're saying, like he like. Oh, there should be a scene like this would never work. Yeah. But okay, no, but there should be a scene where um, you know, like after this guy dies, like goes like, well, good job, Vince Vaughn's character. You've uh, destroyed, you know, once yeah. again, millions of dollars, probably hurt a bunch of people, possibly killed, and yeah. you got our buddy killed. Yeah, it is genuinely Vince Vaughn's character's fault that this guy dies as well. Like he should never have picked up that baby T Rex. No. Like, what were you doing? It's like, oh, it's got a broken leg. It's fucking nature, mate. What are you on about? Yeah. Like, you, like, also, who, who what are they going to do? That? Can you imagine all, all these wildlife, all the guys who make wildlife documentaries? They're like, what are you? Oh, what's with that gazelle? Cheetah was going to eat it. Couldn't let it happen. Also, like, did, what are they going to do does that? for a dinosaur? Like, it's it's a dinosaur with a broken bone. Yeah. So you can splint it and wrap it up. There, problem, goddamn yeah. solved. Now, now the t now the baby T-Rex will be fine. Yeah. Fucking idiotic film. And again, I just felt bad for this guy. It's just like, and there's the what he's, he's his kind of, aren't offensive you know, in any way. Or, yeah, and there's like kind of a, a sadism to this scene, isn't there? The way that like the T Rex is kind of looking and everything like that. It's there's a I think there's just like an unnecessary level of cruelty to the way this scene is is, is put together where he dies here. Yeah. Like I mean, he gets it worse than almost anyone else in this movie. Aside from raptor victims, this guy gets it worse than anyone. I mean, to be fair, Peter Stormare gets it pretty bad, but his character is shown to be like a complete monster. Again, having human villains in these films is stupid and pointless. Look at him! He's like, he's still, you know, he's, he's about to get killed. And he's still trying to save these yeah. assholes. He's trying to save the guy who is literally responsible for him to, about yeah. to die. Do you remember that uh, creep pastor we were reading where, like, oh, uh, you know, Spielberg... Oh, was... God, that's yeah. violent, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's, like, genuinely one of the most horrific deaths in the whole franchise. I love how they don't get, um, they don't get bumped by the, uh... Yeah, none of their stuff. Yeah, or... the giant trailer falls on them. Again, something I'd, I'd um... I don't excuse, think it would explode. I'd excuse in a better movie, but... What? Also, was that trailer filled with just, like, loads Did of TNT? Did they shoot this in 3D and I just forgot or something? Do you think, I saw this movie at the cinema, and this is kind of a weird thing, but just like my mind going to, oh, it was in 3D. No, it wasn't. I remember the audio was terrible when I saw this. Like, the early like release of this film, like when it first came out in the cinema, mm -hmm. like, had terrible sound. And I remember like, everyone's voice was really distorted and garbage. If anyone in the audience uh, 
saw it at the cinema. I'd be interested oh, to look who's it. helping you yeah. now! Oh, the people you fucking sabotaged, they're saving you. Mm-hmm. If anyone in this film deserves to die, it's Vince Vaughn. Not just because he's played by Vince Vaughn, he just is one of the most unlikable but, people. And he's just somebody I just can't bear to look at. But they fuck- no, they- Oh, look at this stuff you you guys um, got smashed up. You know, We're screwed, we're all going to die. Let's work together. I'm like, no. I would execute them. Literally about to use those exact words. I was like, kill them. I was like, he deserves to be killed by firing squad. Not even that, I would just drown him in a fucking puddle. Yeah, there's plenty of puddles around. Don't waste the But maybe the puddle of blood that your buddy yeah. has left. <laughs> So, oh, you see your friend who got ripped in half. Like, oh, you can see his entrails. You could physically drown in those. I'm going to strangle you with the guy's intestines. Yeah. Uh, if, I was going to go back and like look at that scene. Like, how quickly do you think he died? If luckily by shock. Yeah. Possibly he got swallowed whole. Yeah, who knows? Do you know what I mean? It's it, just, and now he's it's starting so shit. And it's just look at this fucking guy. Le- yeah, honestly, Roland should be the main character. Like how good would this? Again, it's one of those lost potential things. Like this movie, this should just be called the lost potential. Like, how good would it be if you just followed Pete Boswell's way for the movie? And he was the main character, and then he'd be kind of morally ambiguous to be dickish things. Like his main motivation is, I want to hunt the T Rex, but he yeah. rises to the occasion and becomes a hero. Yeah, when, like, like when, maybe when yeah, it calls by the end, for he's it. like, yeah, you know, like a. Just, there you go, guys. There's a better movie for free. Now let's just mail that script to the past. Yeah, and for it's like, sake. it's just like, oh, we need we need someone back from the first film. Well, Ian Malcolm was pretty good. Yeah. For that. But yeah, I love how he's jaded and he's, like yeah. yeah, he's gentle. He's basically kept the entire time. He's like, "This isn't gonna work. It's shit. Chaos theory. Look at this drop of water. Blah blah blah. It's not gonna work." And the only reason the whole thing didn't work was because two things happened at the same time yeah. that were bad. Oh no, this was bound to happen. No. Shut up, Doctor Malcolm. <laughs> also, I can't like from that like watching this from now on. I can't stand a scene where Vince Vaughn isn't having someone state like basically staving his skull in with a rock. It's those things like again. This is this is aimed mostly at kids because I I, I I don't think there are many adults well, that are moralizing. Yeah, there there are, there are any adults out there that'd be like dumb enough to just watch this movie and not be be, be annoyed by it. Oh, perhaps well, I, I'm wrong, but I thought something kind of positive to say about Vince Vaughn. At least he's not as bad as the couple in the next one. Yeah. Oh. oh. God. And again, spoiler, they fucking survive as well. Mm-hmm. Even though they're the worst people and they get yeah, a bunch of people... Absolutely like, the worst people in the film. They literally get like a bunch yeah. of people... Get, like, the only way Vince Vaughn could have been worse than this if he was going around shooting people in the head. <laughs> that would at least be merciful. Most people who die in this film die screaming because of, <laughs> because of his fucking actions. He's the villain. He's the mastermind behind all of it. It's like that theory. He's actually about... still playing Norman Bates. <laughs> like they just dropped. It's like off. that theory about how Jar Jar Binks in Star Wars is actually yeah. a Sith Lord. Shouldn't you be uh, going soon, mm-hmm. Jim Jam? Yeah, five minutes. Or do you need to walk? Like, how I thought you uh, said he was this. This um, you were going to get called if you had to go to work. I think you did get called. Ah, okay. That's why I left the room. I'll be honest. I did not notice. Because you've been eating crisps, so I wouldn't distract have, him. Yeah, I wouldn't have noticed your voice not being present because you eat not crisps. Gonna, not going to speak. Which is more crisps. interesting than uh, Vince Vaughn. Yeah. Oh, Shush, phone. Why are you letting him talk? Why isn't like he? he Why is he on his knees begging for his life? <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I was going to eat some chips, but they all disappeared. Well, they were there to be eaten. I said, "Who wants chips?" And I started eating them, and no fucker touched them. I rub my dick on them. They, they, they were gone within five minutes. <laughs> yeah, so during that five minutes, you had ample opportunity to take a handful. No. I'm not going to be made to feel guilty because you were too slow to eat. Okay, going back to this, just like, you know, he's walking inside um, Vince Vaughn, and like, why is it like the first time he turns his head and over, he just gets a rifle bite in his yeah. mouth? It's just, I don't see Every time you open your mouth, you lose the teeth. The same fucking thing we've, we've been harping on for yeah, like 10 It's so, it's just so grating. How you know how nobody gives you know gives a shit? It's just like, let move on. Like it was his time in the script to yeah. die. It's fine. It's like oh you you're the person who uh, who is sabotaging us. A lot of my people you know we've got we've lost communication with the mainland now because of you. Uh, we have we're, no, we're probably going to die know. on this island. We have no way of saying yeah. come for help or contact. No, uh, we've got to get to a communication tower. Anytime, anyone who dies from that's, now on, I think that's the plot from from here, isn't it? That's to get some communication po- place to get a message to get some helicopters out or, or something. something, or there's smoke signals. Run, pu- run away from the volcano. Honestly, don't care. But 
I think that's the plot from here out. Though. Look how many people were there. They have fu- that guy has yeah. fucked over all these people. Yeah, all these people are gonna die because of him. But it's okay because they're nameless bad guys because they want money. Yeah, and they're holding guns. Because if if anyone should be lecturing us on on the evils of money, it's the people making a movie, a multi million dollar movie sequel. Mm. Especially a shit one. It's like, huh, blood. I'm like, yeah, you're in a jungle full of carnivorous yeah. dinosaurs. Of course, there's going to be blood. Hope this is not Chris's blood. There's dinosaur fodder everywhere. Why? I get, I get she probably hasn't got another shirt, but should you be walking around in that? Probably not. It's probably best to drop the thing that sm- like, you know, smells like tasty dindins. In fact, I'm pre- isn't the T-Rex following them from yep. here on out in the film? Yep. Because of that fucking shirt? Yep. Like I'm Vince sure, Vaughan just die. Right, I'm sure if you went up to one of the, the the men and they'd be like, "Look, I need a shirt. It's far more, it's far less gross for you to walk around with your, your top off than it is for me because I'm Julianne Moore and I have to have a much bigger paycheck to walk around with my tits out like National Geographic style. So why don't one of you guys give me a shirt and I'll throw this one away because it's going to attract the dinosaurs. Yeah, because there's fucking blood on it. So Peter Jackson here is about to die. Isn't it? I think he's the guy that gets squashed. I think. I think. Um, yeah. So Peter Stormer, who, by the way, plays one of the best devils in any film. Yep. Uh, just, it's a shame that the film is Constantine, but his performance is great. Yep. Like, why is he in the film? There's so many great actors in this film who barely do anything as well. Has he gone off to go for a piss or something? Yeah. He's, like, like to be honest, up against a tree. Yeah, I wouldn't care about my colleagues seeing my wiener if the alternative was get eaten by dinosaurs. I've got to be honest. I would like step up to Julianne Moore, squat and do a shit in front of yeah, him. I'd, 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 yeah, I'd rather that than be killed by dinosaurs. Also, we didn't know that wasn't a huge dinosaur because the perspective of the shot, he's physically there and perceiving it in the third dimension. Oh no, it's okay for him to die because he likes shocking dinosaurs yeah. with his cattle prod. Alright, I have to go guys. Okay, All right. but... Let us, not know, gonna miss let much us know if it's crazy. About... Let, let us know if it's crazy busy down there. And if, oh, not, okay. if not, we'll come and join you. Alright, cool. Have a good shift. But also, he he wandered off just to shock the dinosaur. Yeah, it's like, weren't you doing a wee a minute ago? Like, isn't that why you've come out here? Well, at least is he off to shock the dinosaur, can... or has he got lost? Has he got turned around? I think it's both. Fucking idiot! Like, you know what would have said? You know, mean you'd not get lost if you walked behind a tree and did a piss. Yeah, I get. There's that... a tree right there. Yeah, I get that. This film is kind of, in some ways, an inversion of the first film. So it's like, oh, now it's. You know, the dinosaurs are sometimes running away from the people and we're cheering for the dinosaurs, so it's different to the first movie. But, I don't know, it just doesn't really work. Again, I think that's a matter of taste. Of, uh, you know, and I don't have an... I'm not one of these people who go, oh, you subverted my expectations, therefore it's bad. I'm like, no. But I also don't go, you subverted my expectations, therefore good. it's good. It's just, it's a thing that you did. You just need to turn your brain off. Yeah, I hate that excuse. I hate I it. Know. We talked about this earlier. Yeah, I think we did anyway. I think we've bitched about it yeah. many occasions. I we almost certainly have because it's it's only ever used to defend bad movies. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm gonna t- I'm gonna turn my brain off and 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 watch you know the third man or turn my brain off and watch 2001. It's just fucking stupid. Seriously, could you just piss behind a tree? Yeah. Just reminds me of that comment you made in the dog in the uh, dog bite video, which is like. So I'll just put this uh, bacon mask on. Oh, God, this was so avoidable. <laughs> That's pretty much him. So I'll just wander out into the middle of nowhere alone. Oh, God, this was so avoidable. This movie feels like they shot a bunch of set pieces without really having a script or any idea where the story was going. Which I know they didn't, but is actually true of the third film, which somehow is more narratively coherent for at least the first half than this one is. I mean, it's a worse movie than this one. Yeah. But the first, like, I find like the first half of the movie is at least cohesive, and then it just kind of really jumps the shark, or shall we say, jumps out of the tank and eats the shark is the the expression. And then the pools moved somehow. Yeah. God, I fucking hate that scene. Also, why? Like, I know like nothing came of it, but like, you put the like shotgun up against the tree. Next to, like, I don't know, her. I, I wouldn't have trusted her. Would, like, probably would like tried, like, shooting you in the head or something to protect the dinosaurs. 
seriously, like, have you like have you not heard of the buddy system? Also, best time to get distracted. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna you know listen to some fucking jams. Also, like again, I have no sympathy for for anyone in this movie. I could say, oh, I like these guys a bit more than the other guys, but in honesty, everyone's a moron. Like we're moving on. Better do a head count because we're in the middle of a jungle full of dinosaurs. Ah, uh, we got plenty of other guys. They genuinely do though, because no one like it's they're all just fodder. People here, I mean, they literally they might as well just have a bunch of tins of dog food with legs walking around in this movie. So this guy goes off to go for a piss while carrying the idiot ball, as it's known. This looks really stupid. Like, this looks so bad. Yeah. Just, just a bunch of toys humping him. Yeah, the thing is, like, conceptually, this is really kind of dark and scary, mm. but it just doesn't work because, again, one, it's like, yeah. Don't the, care the film about kind him. Of, the film kind of presents it as him deserving it, which is weird, but also. Because he shocked one tiny yeah. dinosaur once. So, which, you know, him shocking a dinosaur, a bit painful, a bit cruel. He deserves to be torn apart yeah. by tiny dinosaurs. It's not even like a quick death, no, it's. But the thing Probably is, yeah, fucking con- agonizing. Yeah, concept- conceptually, it's really scary, but it just looks so silly. It's got fucking. It's but it's what I think of the rubber-faced um, hedge- Satan rolling no. around with. And I think of this as the hedge maze monsters. Yeah. Basically, if you uh, if anyone's ever read the book of The Shining, in that a bunch of hedge monsters come to life and uh, try and kill people, which, you know, when you're reading it conceptually, it's like if you're reading it bit atmospheric if it happened to you in real life terrifying in like if they filmed it fucking hilarious yeah oh no I'm gonna get killed by a hedge bunny I think one of the things that I always talk about when it comes to horror is you gotta know what's what's scary in term, in the media you're using not necessarily what's scary to you like yeah because anything can be scary you know having a Jeff pi- the having, can be yeah, scary having a piano fall on you could be scary you know but it's not it's never gonna be scary in a film or book it's so yeah, get these tiny little monsters. It's an agonising way to die, but it's just presented in such a silly way. That who even? Well, and they're close up, and it's clearly just like a plastic toy. Just yeah. Like... Again, that's another issue with this film. We talked about it earlier. The the special effects are just not up to mm-hmm. snuff for the most part. Some of them are good, but some of them, considering the budget of it, they have not aged well. Whenever I think of not aged well, I always think of iRobot. Yeah, those effects did not age well. We were always talking about like that, the effects in the first Hulk movie, the 2003 one. Like, oh, they aged better. No, they were shit at the time. I remember seeing the trailer. Is that the, um, as a, the, the angry, angry one? one yeah. Yeah. I remember seeing the trailer for that as a kid. Where it's boring wow, and comic book, like trying a, to be comic book. like a cartoon. Hmm. Like, even, even as a child, it looked awful. So, it, don't give me that, oh, they've aged better. No, they, they were never good. Oh, what are these guys doing? I've lost interest. We genuinely did this as like an entertainment thing and I'm actually bored now. Yep. Like, oh, well, that's why we're going off on tangents and just bitching about the same thing over and over again. Yeah, because there's but, nothing else to say about this movie. It's entirely too long. If this film was an hour and a half, we could actually, you know, have a bitching session about it. But we're at that point where the movie's been on for, what, an hour? And it's just like... It's been on got for a, we've got like play? A, yeah, we've got like another hour of this bullshit left. Really? What yeah, the, the fuck's f- left is a... Yeah, the movie's two hours long. Mate. It's, actually, it's actually over two fuck. hours. I think why? Why does it? If you to told be? me that, I wouldn't have, you know, suggested this. No, because I think this is the longest one in the in the certainly in the original trilogy. Yeah, it's also the dullest one. Well, the okay, so the first one is two hours and seven minutes. Let me get the box for this one. This one is oh, this actually this one's slightly shorter. This is two hours and three minutes. Oh, good. That one's two hours and seven, so not much to it. But what's amazing is the. First film feels a lot shorter than this one. Yeah, because it's always doing stuff and changing yeah. locations. It's, we're tromping through the woods. Like we've been tromping through the woods. Like, like starter, okay. Uh, little girl on islands. Then mansion. Then we tromp through the woods. Then tromp through the woods more. Fuck up some shit for other people. Tromp through the woods. Why is that hanging up? It's just like. It's Why just have like, you not tried to wash it? It's like wafting the smell of blood out to other dinosaurs. I know when I'm covered in blood, which is quite frequently. Um, I always like leave it hanging around. Yeah, but the, yeah, that's usually your own blood from just the constant bleeding. Yeah, from, uh, just from tripping over. And oh, that, that like that's what attracted the dinosaur skittles. <laughs> you know, that's what like, they, like everyone everyone knows they had T Rex had such a fucking sweet tooth. Yeah, they, they, every, that's one thing I remember from science classes learning about 
One, that dinosaurs were actually super lame because they were covered in feathers and didn't nearly look as cool. But also that they had a massive thing for refined sugar. I mean, you just like the way you can take, like, that's how, how Chris Pratt tames yeah. the dinosaur. Taste the rainbow. Blue. God, this is so dumb. His blue M&M. Mm. God, I want to fuck that green M&M. Can link our man, what a freak of nature. Look at this. Just, You're saying you wouldn't fuck a green M&M? It's... I feel like I'm going to go blue in the face from repeating this phrase over and over again, but it's all so avoidable. All of these idiots deserve to die. I still can't get over the fact that, like, you know, Skittles. Yeah. The tail of the T-Rex is, the, not, is not, like, inches from them. They are moving. They're wiggling around. And he hasn't noticed them. Like, like in the first movie, you're like, going to hold totally fucking still in the first movie. Yeah. And just like, we, like we're gonna have, yeah. don't worry, heads don't count. Yeah. Talking's a free action. But isn't she supposed to be some sort of expert on dinosaurs? That's why she's on the islands. Why has no one tried shooting? Apart from the one guy who's just sh- sh- screaming Mexican. He's just like, sh- he's just shouting some Hispanic gibberish. Yeah. I don't even think it's a real language. He's just screaming. Mm-hmm. It sounds like he's saying it's buffalo like, over and over like again. Knock off like, no, mate, it's not, a, it's not a buffalo. It's not. It's a Tyrannosaurus. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, Vince Vaughn takes the bullets out of the guy's gun. Like, literally, the... Uh, the, the, the one, oh, no, it's like, oh, no, I don't want it. I don't want this guy to save us if the T-Rex comes back. Like you should reload it and just immediately kill Vince Vaughn and throw his corpse to the dinosaur. Hopefully it'll delay, like it'll eat it and get sick. Yeah, honestly, I would yeah, I'd feed Vince Vaughn's like yeah, it'd vomit from the from just how many calories are in its mm. fucking sense of self righteousness. Okay, so that's one like two, was that two confirmed dead? Oh, he's on his it's just... yeah. It's... There's a monster on a fucking rampage. Like, use extreme caution unless you're shooting Chris Pratt with it in which case he'll be totally fine yeah, he'll just fine. walk, he'll walk, walk it off. off it's just like it'll outrun it's just like a, you know, it's just like um, a couple of like you know take a couple of pills I mean to be fair I don't, I'm not sure how well sh- sh- uh, Sawn Off Shotgun would have done against the T-Rex yeah. I do like how um, it wasn't Sawn Off was it, it was just like a oh no, no yeah no it wasn't yeah. Sawn Off it was just, uh, I, I, like, I like how he um, this one managed, has replaced those with, like, to Skittles, av- too. He's managed to avoid, like, getting caught up in the massive T-Rex chase. Oh, I do know something, um... Uh, no, well, not vaguely interesting, but um, vaguely rage-inducing about, um... Something, uh... Shit, what's the guy who did Avatar again? James Cameron. James Cameron said... You've seen, you've seen Avatar, haven't you? Yeah, awful. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember there's, like, some weird, stupid, free, uh, six-legged tiger thing in it? No. Okay, so there's apparently a six-legged saber-toothed tiger knockoff in it, which is one of the animals. Someone asked him in an interview if uh, who would win in a fight between his stupid saber-toothed cat, yeah. an alien queen, and a T-Rex. Yeah. And he was like, oh, the s- stupid saber-toothed knockoff would destroy both of them. And, um... No, it wouldn't. But oh, obvi- oh, no, a snake. God, I'll get away from the dangerous <laughs> snake. Surely there's nothing dangerous out there. He just pushed him. Um, oh, God, yeah, I forgot about the T-Rex. <laughs> This is so avoidable. <laughs> that should be the that, that should be the tagline. Right, so we've got this box: the Lost World Jurassic Park. Something has survived. No, the Lost World Jurassic Park. This was also avoidable. Rated PG. Rated PG thirteen. Also, this film is shockingly violent for a PG movie as well. So some get ripped in half, eaten. Like, yeah. So the guy eaten by then... tiny dinosaurs. That guy's just like dragged away, screaming. Mm-hmm. Some other guy's been stomped on. Mm-hmm. Like, and it really is because literally the only way they get away with the PG rating is like they to can not get, properly what, show it. It's because it's it's not an independent film, mm-hmm. so they they they're in the pockets of the MPA a lot more. Mm-hmm. And two, they can go well. The violence is non imitatable. You can't like grab a tiny person in and your just teeth rip them and just like, like, yeah. you can't be two dinosaurs and rip a yeah. guy in half. Yeah, that's Let how it. that's how they got the PG rating for Jaws as well. It was the same logic. Mm-hmm. It's just like you yeah, can't be a shark. Still, it's really. <laughs> really not suitable for children. Uh, as I was uh, saying, James as, as I say, as I've borrowed this off my eight-year-old. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as I was saying about um, like James Cameron just talking mad shit about how his stupid uh, saber-toothed tiger. That's a nice shot. That is. That's, that is a good shot, but it should be in a better film. Yeah. Again. Yeah. This is. Um, like a fight between his stupid like uh, basic. It's literally just imagine a saber-toothed tiger, but with six legs. Yeah. Versus a T-Rex or an alien queen. T-Rex. 
Like, no, 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 it's not a three-way fight. It's just saying his um, yeah. safety duo could take both of them. Once, like, it's a T-Rex as seen in this film. So it's yeah. not like, so it's a massive predator. Yeah. Like, safety tigers were ambush predators. Yeah. Like, so, you know, it's a giant T-Rex with scales and weighs like what? How many tons? I don't know. I'm a lot of, tar- a lot tons. of tons. And the alien queen, well, you don't, like, it's a fictional creature. Maybe, oh wait, it bleeds acid. Yeah. The moment it swipes at it, it's fucked. Yeah. I hadn't thought about the acid one, but you're right, yeah. Um, Literally, how can anything take an, a, a, any alien on in melee? Yeah, no, you need you need to destroy it with like fire or whatever. I thought I've got about um, in the Predator movies is like whenever I, I want to go hand hand the uh, alien. Well, first of all, that's retarded. Second of all, it's going to ruin your weapons. Yeah. Oh, I've shanked it in the. Oh, okay, that's broken. I'm glad there's only. Okay. And the video has broken. Oh, that's marvelous. Just started fucking re- oh yeah, the stop rewind fucking works when it's just glitching out, doesn't it? So we're keeping this all in. I mean, now they go. All right. Other some other someone fell over. Okay, I would say turn the volume up again. All right, guys, we've uh, we fucking lost the. Right. The, the tape. Basically, is- the tape went all stupid for a second. So let's we're gonna have to turn the volume up a bit. Well, it's been stupid the whole time we've been playing the Lost World, but. We're going to turn the volume back up now. Sorry, Universal. Please don't sue us for the audio. Vince Vaughn's uh, there. And now the remote's not working. See you there. Okay, that's enough of Vince Vaughn. Oh my and god, are you fucking kidding? And it stopped again. I watched all of King Kong on VHS the other day. I didn't have any problems. You can get flagged for just this. Yeah, we, 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 the video's gonna get. Flagged. Just describe what is Vince Vaughn derping about on his own. Is that Vince Vaughn? I think that's Vince Vaughn, yeah. Okay, so yeah, just like turn it down so. And get ready for it to stop again. Yeah, I'm sure it will. I mean, it's not like it needs to be properly synced up down No, because to be honest, we're not being super. Um, Constructive yeah, or insightful just, or anything. Yeah, we're mostly just chatting shit and like we could be talking about most of the topics don't necessarily. Yeah, I mean, well, the last topic was us talking about yeah. an alien yeah. versus. Like, but it, 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 to be honest, it's mostly moments where we go, "Oh, that's a good shot." Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Really, that's all it's for. Or this shot sucks for these reasons. Like, so you're close with Vince Vaughn. So you guys should hopefully be synced up. Or um, hopefully not vomiting too much. God, blood. Vomiting, it's just so annoying. So yeah, by the way, he's in the room. It says Jurassic Park on the wall. Um, it's frightening in the dark. It's sort of con- it's sort of confusing because it's like picked, it's a painting of the first Jurassic Park, mm. but that was on a different island. I don't know why why it's there. I don't, I don't really understand what the purpose of this island is. How long ago was this? Uh, you know, yeah, um, was this all abandoned? Like yeah, this it, looks, this looks it, like it was a hundred years yeah, ago. <laughs> this looks like that, you're walking up post-apocalyptic landscape. Yeah. <laughs> Again, it probably is explained if you give a shit. Like I'm, I'm kind of assuming we'll no. have some pedantic comments mm. from people. Just I don't think that anyone honest, pedantic enough would have come this we far. We don't give a shit. We hate this film and nothing you can say can change that. Yeah. In fact, I hate it more than I... Okay, he's brushing off the wall. I should make sure because it's it's gone really weird. He's And the lights He's just off. turned the power on and he broke something. Of course you fucking yeah. did. So, you so ruined make everything. sure people are synced up because it went really weird. It's, it's, the video, it, it stopped. It's It had the letters R-E-W for rewind came on the screen. Yeah. And yet it had jumped forward both times that it happened because this is a terrible VHS player. Like Logan's one in his room is better, to be honest. Should have stolen that. It should have really, but then we'd have had to watch it on a tiny little screen. Yeah, good point. What was? I would have missed all the you know beautiful yeah fucking Vince Vaughn of, scenes. Yeah. Do you? I I just like the idea that he's gonna call for backup and just leave everyone else. Yeah. He's like literally just he's like an environmental sociopath. Okay, we got the guy, the the, the glasses guy, the rich, the rich guy. He's he's staring into the camera, open mouthed like a twat. He's gonna get eaten or bummed. One, two. Oh, no, and now you can see Roland with his gun. There you go. I think that's enough info. Hopefully, the yep. world. Again, it, you don't need to be synced up. It just you know it why just would makes you it easier come along if you're the rich guy? The, you know, yeah, he didn't need to even be on this expedition. That's what that's what delegation. That's what underlings yeah. are for. I have money. Someone else goes to the dangerous place. But then he wouldn't have gotten his poetic justice. You see... Does he, he get killed back on the mainland anyway? I have no frigging clue. I can't remember. 
this is taking way too long. They should just like they walked over a hill and there was the place. It takes them a very long time to get to what is the most interesting part of the film, which is the part I hated the most as a child and that I like the most as an adult, which is the T-Rex boating around San Diego. Uh, Being which, frustrated because he's got tiny yeah, arms and he, so can't, he can't, can't jack it. <laughs> that's, no, that's just going to be the total joke of San Diego. That's yeah. all I know about that's, it. That's, uh, that's going to be a standing joke for that town for a very long time. And, and dead. Yeah. Fucking plot armor just saved her. That's a Velociraptor. Do we stat- I don't feel like these things in the first movie are like these apex they can, predators. They can, yeah, they can shred like they can yeah. basically shred anything short of steel. Yeah, and and a backpack. Unbelievably smart. Maybe it's got the M and M's in it or something. <laughs> yeah, aren't these things supposed to be clever? Like they really—they're they, they, supposed to be able to coordinate with each yeah, other. They really nerf the raptors in this movie. And then again, aren't they super intelligent? Yeah, like they three? close the door. Yeah, and the one head butted it, and yeah. it's—I don't know, like. How much do you think that weighs? Yeah, that probably enough to knock the door yeah. open. Oh, she put the bolt down super quick. I, I, I wouldn't go in there, Jeff. Be careful; they can they can open door. Never mind. It was a stupid plan from the start. I I would have liked the idea if it goes for the um the uh, plate glass. It goes for the plate glass window and just shreds the dinosaur. Yeah. Yeah. Another thing: the scaly skin seems to be like invulnerable in these movies. Again, it's not till like the the later ones with Chris Pratt where like they actually seem to take any damage when they get shot or anything like that. It's like they're like Godzilla in this movie. But, oh, the door's locked, so we'll just crawl underneath. Which I guess you know. It's, also, like you can see that like, it's a, it's a it's tin obvious, shack. It's, yeah, it's also obviously a set as well. Like it just it doesn't feel like a real tangible. Of course, you'd have to once build again this, nitpicking like, 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 over the fact that yeah, it just like doesn't... they've managed to close the door too quickly. Yeah, it's just things that sh- wouldn't matter in a good movie. But the the raptors just seem really nerfed in this film, because they go back to being it's, stupid. Yeah. So in the first movie they're really smart and strong. In this movie they're dumb, and then in the in the third movie they're outrageously intelligent to the point where like they're smarter than chimps for some it's, reason. It's a and corrugated then, shack. And then in the fourth movie, like, the, they're, if it was two of us, like, like, obey humans. Like, oh, fucking because know. they're super loyal. Um, like it's a corrugated shack. I think between the two of us, we could have taken it down. Yeah. It's ridiculous. I mean, I, 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 I like again. It's sus, it should be suspenseful, but I don't care about these characters. I know they're gonna live because uh, they've they've got plot armor, but I also don't care whether they live or die. I'm, like, I, they're not I know it's characters. not, and I'm but I'm half expecting that like, little girl gets through, but Joanne Moore's doesn't. Yeah. But and they just like instead like the dragon, and then they take her off back to their raptor hive or something. So they need to be refugees later. That's not a bad jump scare, I guess. It doesn't. Make oh, a, oh, it oh. doesn't make a lot of sense because Julian more look, poked her head out and presumably noticed there weren't any dinosaurs. Then it just appears out of Stealth the frame. Stealth raptor. That is the ability to turn invisible. That's what raptors have. That's how the Indominus Rex had the ability to turn fucking invisible. It can camouflage. Just like why do people like that? Just film? like all those animals in um, you know that happened in that the door wasn't even locked. <laughs> I'm not even going on about the fact that raptors can open doors. It was on the fucking latch. Yeah, they could have just I can kick down a, open. I can kick down a locked door even with my fucked up leg. You think what a 500 pound dinosaur can do? Oh, here it comes. Yes. Yes. It's a good thing she's a gymnast and those Jim fucking Carter. I'm turning this up just because I, I need the sound here. The fucking raptor looks. Unbelievable. And there it is. There it is, folks. The greatest uh, scene in cinematic history. Yeah. And then it looks tiny. Oh, no. Good thing Vince Vaughn wasn't here. He would have been very upset. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, also, it's a weird... This, the perspective is so weird in that little pickup shot of the that's obviously shot in second unit because it looks like garbage of the um, the dinosaur. It looks like a model. It's like a miniature. I don't know Do you why. think if she had fallen asleep near Vince Vaughn, he would have taken her shoes away? <laughs> Honestly, ridiculous. these are lethal weapons. They could hurt the dinosaurs. At least the talking raptor was a dream. Like women to believe that actually happened. The kicking the, the raptor out the window like that. It could be more ridiculous. They could have had cloning involved. They fe- I mean, it, fe- it fell. The you know, the raptor fell for something that you would use on the three fucking stooges. That's like something Bugs Bunny would use to escape Elmer Fudd. Yeah. 
fucking hate you. And the fact that, that it is, and the fact that it, it used Jim Carter. Yeah, it's just it's, uh, it's the most in, dangerous martial art in the world. The whole film is pretty much inexcusable, if I'm honest. Also, once again, the super like you know the highly intelligent raptors that can you know recognize patterns, coordinate. Is not realising that something's slipping beneath it. Yeah. Take a step back, motherfucker. I'm surprised it didn't stop in the air for a second and yeah. look at the camera. Hold up a little sign. And dead. Yeah. And, and, no, and the raptors and, and, are just too busy fighting amongst themselves. Again, they, they're they supposed to be, like, brilliant. We're not, like... We're not complaining that these aren't historically accurate. We're complaining about the rules that they made. Yeah, it's, it's the film's continuity I care about, not... Because none of it's so Maybe these were the dumb raptors. They ended up the smart ones in the yeah, good place. Yeah, the, the clever ones are the ones that ended up in Island Nublar. These ones just... Look at the rescue... Like, Look at the rescue copter. Look at the people who are there. Yeah. Look at the people who were with them. Yeah. So Vince Vaughn, you know, not playing a serial killer, has a um, body count that is actually larger than a lot of famous yeah. ones. Yeah, it was certainly larger than when he actually played a serial yeah. killer. Where's everyone else? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a good fucking thing that everyone was dead. There's <laughs> just like a bunch of people like, what the fuck, where's ours? Yeah, it's just like, we haven't got enough space in the helicopter for all the people that came on this mission. It's okay, everyone's been killed. It's like, what happened? Well, I kind of um, sabotaged the camp. I took their bullets away, um, even after they saved my life. Um, I, I got my best friend killed. I, I mean, that has nothing to do with I, this. I got a T Rex with a broken leg. Oh, you cunt! <laughs> <laughs> He's done it again. He's done it a second time. It's like, ah, oh, Miss Vaughan, I'm just fucking steal. Like, uh, not just the steal, and, and of course the fucking VHS has stopped. When it's again. getting to the good part. Yeah, when it's getting to the only part of the movie I like. Mm. The only part of the movie that maybe it's even remotely excusable. Mm. Naturally, the VHS craps out again. Yeah, I think my VCR. I gonna... would try if I was if I was the other guy. If I was, I was what's his name? Um, I think my VCR is gonna break yeah, soon. Probably. Hope it doesn't chew up the tape. And it stopped again. Yeah, who gives a shit if it chews up the tape? This movie sucks. Logan will care. And yeah, he'd care. He'll cry. Be, yeah. Because you beat him at Poi Poi Tetris. That was his mother beat him at Poi Poi Tetris and cried. Didn't do it again. I made fun of him so much and banned him from playing for a week. And we did it again. That's hilarious. Congratulations. That's enough. Yeah, it's it's bad. It's uh, a bad film. Can someone please in the comments, because I'm never watching this fucking film again, just come up with a kill like Vince Vaughn's responsible for kills. Girl. Oh god, yes, please do. If somebody um or if somebody's just seen the film a bunch of times or doesn't hate it as much as we do, if you could just write yeah in the comments for us. How many people he's responsible yeah. for? How many deaths Basically, are, anyone are who's indirectly died. a result yeah, of the from actions him, of Vince Vaughn? Yeah, for, so it's first guy dies, gets ripped in half, that's Vince Vaughn's fault, till now. Yeah. I, yeah. I think Vince Vaughn's just gone for the rest of the film now, isn't he? He just doesn't show up again. He's off to prison. <laughs> he's, off to open, he's off to open a chain of hotels. And, yeah. He is literally responsible for murder. Who is that serial killer who actually opened like a murder hotel for the death traps? It's like one of the creepiest things I've ever heard. It's like a real life thing. That that's happened. that's a real thing. Yeah, that's way more interesting than this. Uh, but this guy, yeah, he opened, yeah, he opened a hotel and it was like, full of death traps. That sounds like the sort of thing that you'd hear. Like, oh no, they still got the T Rex, the poor innocent friend devouring T Rex. Yeah. I don't care how much you care about like about animal rights and things. The moment Those it, things murdered your friend. Yeah, like no, you, you, would, like, you would even like even if like first of all it killed a human being. Yeah. Which I always think like, is probably a greater you know benefit yeah. to society than like most animals and definitely something that's extinct and wants to kill you. I think what, all, it's even if he wasn't your friend. I can't remember like once again haven't been paying attention. Even if he wasn't your friend, he was still a colleague at the very least, or someone you had a fucking conversation again, with. See, see, another reason why Jaws is a, is a much better movie is that Matt Hooper is a, is a guy who loves sharks, loves them, studies them, thinks they're the most amazing creatures on earth. Is perfectly willing to kill yeah. the shark though, because but it you needs can be, to be fascinated done. with something like, uh, you know, sharks, the beautiful, majestic killing machines. Oh wait, killing machines! It's yeah. going to come for me. Uh, well, it's between me, you know, like the people yeah. and the shark. Perfectly happy. The to shark save. can fucking die. Yeah, he's perfectly happy to get involved and save the town. It's like, yeah, this is because it's necessary. I, I know a lot about sharks. I love sharks. I study them. I think they're beautiful creatures. This one needs to die in a fire. Yeah, we need to set the fuck sea on sea fire. On, that's the that's the thing. Obviously, he's not the best scientist in the world, but he doesn't know about sharks. <laughs> what if we set the sea on fire? 
I like a cutting edge jib. <laughs> Gonna need a bigger boat. Make it flame proof. <laughs> it's coming let. <laughs> perfect. The perfect boat. <laughs> And sales of asbestos. Uh, we, we don't care about any of these people because they're wearing suits and yeah. so therefore they're evil. They have money and we haven't spent time with them and they haven't got anyone killed so they're the bad guys. It's just such an unbearable movie, isn't it? I know I've used that phrase a lot today but it, it really is just awful. It, it's dross. It's funny because you said it's unbearable because earlier I told um, Gemma a uh, shaggy dog story that involved a bear. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to say it now because it's take too long and I can't okay. to do it. She should have said it at the beginning it could have taken us through the movie. Yeah, good point. That's something to fucking talk about. <laughs> like, you know how, like, does Vince Vaughn let the dinosaur out? I'm just hoping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that be great if, like, because I think it's just some random extra that presses a button. It'd be so good if it was Vince Vaughn. It's like, it's, it's like just, like, Photoshop Vince Vaughn's head onto that guy. It's, it's like, it's just like, you know, like, there's, like, the novelization where you find out he is just like one of those eco terrorists who hate humanity. He's, he's just, literally he's, just trying he's, to he's wipe out poison ivy. Yeah. Can we make that canon? That poison <laughs> ivy disguises herself as a man named Vince Vaughn, or and has no acting talent. Is actually called poison ivy. Why are you doing all this? Oh, to protect the plants. Plants grow out the you know the ground, the cracks in the street. I also, they're, swamp, swamp. They're, they're doing fine. Yeah, plants are doing all yeah. right. Also, they have literally um, a guardian god called Swamp Thing. He can murder everyone on the planet. Go chat with him. Swamp Thing, DC. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. You get to talk yeah. to Swamp Thing. Um, There's literally like I, I know a bit. Uh, yeah, of course, okay. Fucking, while yeah, you do that, I tell about in. Um, in the DC universe, they got these things like this thing called the Green, which is all plant life that's connected. So why is it going like who the fuck's this meaty bitch? It's te- the, the tape is attempting to play. Mm-hmm. Honestly, so okay. awful. Oh, that came in one. It's probably going to do this oh. several times. Okay, so did Vince Vaughn just cause the ship to like crash now? Or? I certainly hope so. Yeah, and it stopped again. It's going to stop a couple of times, I think. It usually does. Does it like three times and then work? It's trying to make it last longer. Yeah, because God knows this film isn't long enough. Mm. All right, the ship so, is crashing so, into the. So dark. we've apparently put in speed two at this point. I'm actually super glad we're not watching Speed 2. <laughs> like, as bad as this film is. Look, the only good thing to ever come out of Speed 2 is funnily enough, and it stopped again. It's, Fuck's sake! It's funnily enough, a, um, a later Simpsons reference where they're driving along on the bus and goes, well, it's just like Speed 2, but on a bus! The bus that wouldn't slow down. <laughs> genuinely left, genuinely and left stop. the room to fart away from the microphone. Mm. I think we may have to finish the commentary without the film and just guess the running time. <laughs> just like, okay, how much longer is left of the film? Okay, people are running around the deck now. Yeah, I thought my DVD... Uh, okay, stop Fucking again. hell! I thought the DVD player I had, uh, you know, that portal one I told you about just kept cutting off like the last 15 minutes yeah. of anything you watched was bad. Genuinely, I haven't had these problems for ages with this fucking thing. And then Tom brought some like some v- videos he found in his uh, dead neighbour's house. <laughs> And it's cursed. <laughs> okay, so we've got creepypasta incoming. It, I, I think it's because some of them had mold on the fucking tape. So I genuinely think he's just like ruined my VCR. I'm actually going to rewind a little bit. I was going to say just fast forward. and that's... I think to be honest, cause, no, because it's been jumping forward a whole bunch every time it stopped. I was, no, I just meant make the film finish fi- uh, faster. Oh, I see. Because like, no one cares about like coordination, do they? No, they really don't. To be honest, if they did care, they would have fucking stopped watching by now because... It's it we're at that it, it's just he's not gonna play. Should we just like just guess the end of the uh, film? Yeah, we'll fast forward it a bit and then we'll try we'll try one last time to get it to play and then. So there's a black dude on a ship. He's gonna die. Get get eaten first. Yeah, and he's stop. not gonna play. All right, that's annoyed me. Okay. Fucking bullshit. So we should so uh, just end the commentary because we can't do it from here on out. No, we're gonna we're gonna tell the end of the commentary. Okay, so what happens is Vince Vaughn releases the dinosaur. And he equips it with guns. And he goes, go, my pretty. Go, destroy mankind. Yeah, the guns, uh, by the way... Um, they, they shoot dinosaur bones. Yeah, no, they've got little lights on. They don't actually oh, yeah. shoot, but a dinosaur oh, they... attacks the dot. The okay, how did the dinosaur kill the guy? Like, I forgot about that, but... Actually, this somebody explained this sequence. To... It's annoying that it needs explaining, like the part on the boat. Uh, needs explaining, because it shouldn't. But somebody did explain it to me once. Like, it, it, should be to- it should be told visually a lot better than it is. But somebody did actually explain it to me once. I'm gonna try and find my fucking cleaning tape. Cause I don't know if it's if it's. The, I think the issue is the tape. 
More than the okay. VCR. Eject it. We're done. I'm yeah. just going to finish off. So Vince Vaughn's got his dinosaur that shoots other smaller dinosaurs that follow lasers. Because that's a better idea. Are we actually going to post this on the internet? Fuck yeah, we are. No, there is zero quality control on this channel, yeah. I swear to God. No, there isn't. So, Vince Vaughn's got his dinosaur and he's attacking um, Sa- San Diego, which is trouble because there's a whole bunch of naked people jacking it in the middle of the street. And there's a car, die, filthy humans. And then, rocking out from the, sh- out from the shadows comes Sam Neill. And he uppercuts the dinosaur. And he's like, uh, Vince Vaughn's like, oh no, don't hurt the dinosaurs. And he's like, you're next, Vince Vaughn. And he grabs his face, rips it off, turns out he's a dino person from the centre of the earth. And then he crushes his head. And uh, that's the end of the film. Yeah. Honestly, why the fuck not? Yeah, why not at this point? So, well, something I was going to mention, uh, there's a bunch of stuff in the chase scene with the dinosaur. Some of it's funny. There's a pa- there's a poster for King Lear starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's funny. David Keff has a cameo and dies really brutally. Uh, that's somewhat amusing. Wasn't that King Lear thing? Wasn't that just like the um, Last Action Hero thing? No, that, oh, that was... That was, um... it was sweet. In, in Last Action Hero, they had a poster for Terminator 2, but it was um, it was um, Sylvester Stallone instead of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. No, no, I'm thinking because there's a sequence where um, the kids... No, you're th- it's not King Lear. You're thinking of... Uh, Macbeth? Hamlet. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, well, it's one of those films. Yeah, one of those plays. Anyway, the thing that really annoys me is the guys, the Japanese guys that are running, so we left uh, Japan to get away from this sort of thing. Which implies I, that dinosaur... Yeah. Like, you know... Giant lizards attack. I get that it's a joke, but like, this is. Why would they tell a joke in that scenario? Yeah, but, like, yeah, so either A, it's a you know like the guy has the worst timing and sense of humor, or yeah. B, they actually do get attacked by giant lizards. Yeah, in which but this this is supposed to take place in in a world that's rational, but we it's it's similar to our own reality. Yeah. But we figured out how to clone dinosaurs. And little that's girls. That's really the only difference. And yet, these guys are like, oh yeah, and kaiju are real. Mm-hmm. Look, it's just stupid. It's imagine such if a you were like, film. imagine if it's so, so like, dumb. Yeah, imagine if it sucks. Uh, you were in a car and suddenly, like the ha- you know, the accelerator got stuck down or something like that, and you're about to crash. You're not gonna make a joke like, "Whoa, this is fast and furious." <laughs> like, no, you're in imminent fucking danger. Yeah, it's dumb. Fuck, I don't want to record this anymore because I don't know how much left of the film. Probably loads. Uh, the VA, the VCR won't play the goddamn tape. And we can't be able to go out and get another one or do anything fuck, to... I ain't going to fucking watch this again, mate. I'm not going to go and buy it on DVD so we can attempt to re-record the commentary. No. I'm sorry, guys. If you wanted this series to be good, it's not going to happen. That's the commentary you're getting. Yeah. Fucking hell. What a load of shit. We'll be back for uh, we'll Jurassic be back, Park we'll 3. we for Jurassic Park 3. With uh, 100% less Vince Vaughn killing people, yeah. but some other jackass doing it. Um, I'll see if I can get it on DVD or anything. I do have... Well, Logan's got it on VHS... We might use Logan's TV instead of mine next time, to be honest, because his VCR actually works. But his VCR is built into the TV, so we'd have to actually bring his TV down. Or alternatively, we could record that one with him in his room, it's just with 100% less swearing. Uh, uh, Well, doubt that's going to happen. Yeah, that would be weird. It's like, hey, you know these show where we're constantly vulgar and swear? Now we've got an eight-year-old joining us, it's going to be a bit different.